Real show, here we go. Real show, here we go. You know that it's gotta be that time, so this is what we chant. What keeps on getting them all amped in advance? Come on. You and I rocking out with Iron Man, F.E. You get the general's point of view on top of Roger's rants. Whenever it's happening out, we're putting the most minutes in you. Already know what that's about, you know that win is win. Crush whatever's on task, check the podcast. It's the champ and the tramp, let the bomb blast. Boom, champ and the tramp. Back in the game, six feet four, away from my man Roger. Yes. Abiding by this COVID-19 bullshit. It's our, our second uh, podcast back, and uh, we we figured out a way to do it, guys. That's that's the thing, man. People are figuring stuff out. Yep. You're going to have to. It's no way we could just keep doing what we're doing. Just, that's just not going to work. We're going to have to figure our stuff out to make stuff continue and move on right otherwise the economy completely shuts down i mean yeah. it literally just yeah. completely comes to a standstill they're saying there's more people right now unemployed than during the great depression how crazy is that well i mean the population is probably a lot lot bigger so why, why do you have to come in with your fucking logic and just I mean, ruin well, yeah. it sounded so good <laughs> and you fucking ruined it with logic listen man <laughs> i can't can't let you slide <laughs> no well i mean yeah it's still fucking crazy. I mean, it is. How many people are unemployed? You think um, in our lifetimes, I mean, uh, granted, my lifetime is probably 20 years shorter than yours, but um, we'll ever see anything like this again? Um, I remember when this first happened, I Googled, before the word was even used, what's the difference between epidemic and pandemic? Because I didn't I, know. Do I know. Epidemic is, is uh, maybe in one country and a pandemic is worldwide. I, that's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. Well, look at that. Pandemic I mean, I, is a much bigger scale. Listen, yeah. I didn't have to look anything. Yeah. Like that, right? Fucking genius. <laughs> look at a big brain on Frankie. Hey, now. <laughs> but yeah, so um, you gotta keep, we got we to gotta figure stuff out. Mm-hmm. And Dana White figured some shit out. We think. Now hasn't like, happened no. yet, but yeah. True, true, true. true. <laughs> I believe it when I see it. But I mean, he said it's confirmed. Yep. They got the card made, yep. this and that. Vince McMahon was first, though. Yeah, and and I got to say, I'm a little out of touch because we we talked briefly before we as we were just tuning everything in, and you told me that I didn't know that. Yeah, how was that possible? They had WrestleMania this past weekend. How? No, no, no fans in the, no fans. Okay. Um, so I just guess they have their own facility. Okay. And I, I didn't watch it. Actually. But still, there has to be an incredible amount of staff to make that go down. There's got to be a yeah, significant I, I, look, amount of wrestlers in the back he's room following all the rules. Okay. Right, mm-hmm. found all the rules, made some adjustments, and was able to get it done. Dana's doing the same thing, and Dana's getting so much heat for it. Yeah, why? I, I, people are just thinking that he's. I don't think so, obviously. Yeah. But people are thinking that he's putting people's health and safety at risk for fighting. Dana, like, dude, is doing I, it on island, correct? Well, no, I, I, I the international fights yeah. that were supposed to happen, uh, he's going to keep them on, and it's going to be uh, that those will be on island. Okay. All right. For, he said for the next two months he's got. Security. Where is this island? I have no idea. Um, and then, but this fight, I believe, someone just leaked it. It's not supposed to leak. Tat Tachi Palace or something, which is a, a Indian reservation. Uh, in, uh, but I thought he could try that and he couldn't get away with it. No, well, I guess hey, he found a way. Hmm. And what, uh, what if it's fantasy island? You should go over and fight that little deep plane, deep plane. You should go fight, fight that guy. Fuck the same weight class, bro. <laughs> oh, you know. I keep fucking making fun of him until one day he comes over here and just slaps me inside the face. Shit, shit. So listen, but I think it's great. Obviously, I, I'm a fighter and I'm a little bit boneheaded and stuff. But you know, as of course, and I keep saying this, as long as health and safety is concerned. Which I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, you do, you do hear these crazy stories, right. and then I, I know, I know a couple people that have it, and, and you know, just having little symptoms, nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, so is it dangerous? Obviously, it's dangerous. People are fucking dying. You know, facts are facts, right? Don't you think society, though, just as a whole, uh, we're built so differently? What what some people are willing to do and risks that some people are willing to take, others would never. And right. that's fine. Right. If you're right. going to be part of this. Well, no, well, they're saying, and, and listen, they're saying, you're right, you should have a choice. But they're saying, right. you, by you not by you taking a risk, you're putting other people at jeopardy. You're, you're not at the time. You're saying when you come home? I guess. Because at the time, guess, but everybody. Suppose, but I think what they're doing, like like I said, what Dana's doing, he's, mm-hmm. I don't know if he, I heard he's going to test people. Right. I don't know if he's going to test people or not. But they're, they're going to quarantine people. I guess one thing, what, 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 like Mark's going, because Sarge is on that card. Uh, Sajara Banks, who might be one of my teammates. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Mark's going out. And um, Is Mark nervous at all? Oh, What's I'm, sure, Mar- I'm, I'm curious. I'm sure 
Um, what's you know, legendary boxing coach, um, Mark shit. I'm why am I drawing a blank? Henry. Mark Henry, Christ, got man with two first names, and I couldn't think of either one. Um, legendary boxing coach. He's a he's a very God fearing, leg- uh, very God fearing religious man. Yes. What, what's his take on all this? Uh, I mean, it's just, he knows it's real. He just he's just doing like everyone else, man. Just kind of going going with the flow. Um, he owns a pizzeria and he's yeah. open, and you okay. know he's he's busy as hell. Okay, busy as Take hell. Out. Take out, but he has yeah. it set up, man. He put well before it got to this point. He put uh, he started putting the glass all around his right. whole his all his counter space, yeah. you know, for the for like uh, I guess that's like breath glass or whatever the they call six it. Foot rule, yeah. yeah, and then uh, now that it's it's like you know where, where we're at today, he's having people put uh, you know for pickup just line up outside, yeah. and he has only one person going outside handling the food and whatnot. I've seen a lot of that. the The plexiglass setup is right. it's literally like maybe eighth inch plexiglass right, right. setup. There, almost every store has it. Wawa, Wawa seems to have the most professional I, setup. I, I have not been in Wawa yet. Well, only because I'm working every day, so yeah. I, I have been. Yeah. I got I got to get a coffee somewhere. But yeah, Wawa yeah. makes you stand six feet away, and they make it for you rather than you making it yourself. You know what I mean? Um, so I, you know, I'm still an essential guy. I'm still out there every day. I'm, yeah. I need my coffee. But no, fuck yeah. But um, they seem to have it professionally done. My question is, do you think they'll continue with this even after this? I I think we're. I think a be lot living, of people are gonna. I think we're gonna be living in a different world. I do. When this is all over, yeah. I, I see already people are putting signs in stores. Actually, our guy who uh, who uh, made our logo, okay, NJ branded. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I'm looking at his, his Instagram, and he made. Uh, like placements for where you stand in line every six feet apart. Uh, so I, I, I think you're going to see that a lot in cities, or, yeah. or not cities, in, in stores where right. you have to be you stand in line six feet apart. Yeah, right now, almost every. So, so listen to this, man. I took my kids, um, my girl and I took our. I, I heard about this place. Actually, she heard about this place. It's a farm up north. It's up by 287. It's about an hour and 20 minute ride. If I could think of the name of it, I'd shout you guys out, but I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it right now. Where. It's a drive-through farm, right? You never get out of your car. You drive there, with, bring your kids, and I heard it was like crazy busy. Like everybody's doing it. It's it's legal to do it. You're not breaking any. You're listen. If you're in your house and with your family, you're in your car with your family. Yeah, it's the same yeah, fucking thing, right? right? You never get out of the car. They have very specific rules. You have to call. You have to give them a credit card. It goes by last name, like you know names that last names that start from A to M can right, go one right. day, and then. So I got in. I got in on Sunday. We took the kids up there. We drove through. You throw carrots to the kids or whatever. But before we went, I was like, fuck, I got to grab carrots. So I ran into ShopRite real quick. I mean, listen, I've been to ShopRite maybe four times since this has happened because I need shit. I got to yeah, have food. Right. So I was like, all right, I'll run in, you know, and, and my girl is like crazy with the Purell. She's like, all right, I'll Purell you off when you come out. I get carrots. I grab Pure, a Wait, wait, Purell you off? <laughs> yeah. She got she got you off with Purell? <laughs> you fucking idiot, said? this fucking guy. <laughs> Purell you off, like wipe you down with Purell. So anyway, I run in. Grab a big bag of carrots. It's got to burn and I, a little bit, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> and I look, and there's like a line at, at like almost every register. So I'm like, I'll go to self-checkout. I just got a bag of carrots, right? That's all I got, right? So I get in the self-checkout line. There's a guy in a wheelchair in front of me. And there's another person behind him. And I look at the floor, and there's yellow lines on the floor, right? So I'm like, oh, they're doing the, Okay, this is cool. They're doing yeah. the six-foot thing. So I get behind my line. I feel this tap on my shoulder, right? There's an old lady taps me on the shoulder. She goes, Sir, excuse me, the line starts back there. And I look, and it's the whole fucking aisle. Six feet apart, all the way to the end of the wow. aisle. I said, oh, we're going to be late. There's no way. I can't wait. I was like, all right, I put the carrots back. Thank God we brought like a half a bag of carrots I had in my refrigerator. That's what the kids threw them at like the first 10 wow, feet. We were wow. out of carrots. But, yeah. This, cra- what, this was on a weekend? Or no? This was on Sunday, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So. That place is up north, right? Boonton, I think. Boonton, Boon- Boon- yep. Boonton, Boon- Boon- yeah. yep. That's yep. up there, man. Yeah. There. But I was like, you know what? We... We've really, we've really stayed busy every weekend in the house. I was like, I'm gonna just try to get the kids out and do. We never got out of the car, dude. You know that, I mean? That's so. why I'm really looking forward to these fights, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, shit. No, there's no sports, zero sports Nothing. in the world right now, besides WWE mm-hmm. and now UFC here. And yeah. uh, I'm down with it, man. Um, obviously, I, like he's, t- he's talking about having the island for for the next two months mm-hmm. and doing these shows, maybe at these that, at these. Uh, um, what, Indian what, reservations. What, what if we got a platform? We got a YouTube channel. We got a platform. We got a. It's about the same size as a cage in here. How about you and Ligori? You fight, and me and uh, Lou. Me and Mister Grom will be the will be the uh, undercard on that fight. All right, all right, yeah, we, yeah, we could do that. <laughs> well, we could put we should, up, for real. That's what we start doing, man. People <laughs> are yearning for sports. Yeah, Just put up uh, live sparring and stuff. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think it's great, man. I do too. Uh, 
you know, it's 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 got to be kind of unique for the fighters. I mean, mm-hmm. a lot of like, I mean, I'm training, but I can't really train like I want to train, or right. like I would if I was training for a fight. And that's got to be across the board, everybody. Got to be. But at least everyone's kind of on the same playing field. How about Justin Gaethje stepping up to the fight? Amazing. Ferguson? I'm a gate. Listen, I I picked Tony against Khabib. I I probably wouldn't have if I was betting a big sum of money, but because. You know, the first bet I know you, 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 the first bet that we did where you had to dress up in the Sailor Boy outfit, you, you really didn't want to pick, um, uh, fucking the, the wrestler there. What's his name? Why am I drawing blanks? Marrow, no, no. You, right, you really, yeah. uh, whatever. You whatever. said you didn't really want it. So I was like, I'll, I'll yeah. give him one or whatever. But, uh, in this fight, I think, I think I would pick Tony. I think. You pick Tony? I love Gaethje, but I, right, I, I'll, I'm, I'll more, I'm, I'm more, I'm more confident. Okay. Now, since you're getting first bet again, okay. You're getting first bet again. Okay. I'm going to up the wager. <laughs> okay, but it's best out of three. got to pick three okay, fights. Okay, but, okay. but you get that, but, it's, but up the wager. The okay. wager's shaved head and shaved beard. Fuck, dude. Why is it kind of... Why are you going to look at my beard? beard? Look at my beard, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of... You never have attached. a beard, though. I I'm always have a beard. to this thing, and you're going to have to shave it? Okay, who are the other... Let me see if I'm agreeable All to right, the other well, fights. Let me pull up the card. I, I took, I took a, a, a screenshot of it. Um, you have that much confidence in Gaethje, huh? I mean, dude, I, I don't know. Honestly, I think he can get it done, dude. I seen something he he wrote today. Yeah. He was like, you know, w- w- I'm gonna hit him to the body. I'm gonna hit him to the legs. When he starts worrying about that, I'm gonna hit him to the head and hopefully knock him out. And he's like, if it doesn't happen, he's probably gonna chip me up with some elbows, cut me up, and end up choking me. He's like, I'm good with no, anyone. Think, I'm, he's like, I'm good with any of those scenarios. I think Ferguson subs him. I do. Ah, bro, but Tony, but Gaethje could put him away. Yeah, that's what Gaethje's like. I have 17 to 18 minutes in me right now. Mm-hmm. They go hard. I hit fucking hard. Mm-hmm. He does. I'm not listen. I'm not. And, and I, I, listen. I mean, Tony's a fucking. He's phenomenal. Yeah. I, you know, I'm boys to Gaethje. That's what I'm kind. That's right, why I'm right. picking him. And I don't give a fuck if I shave my head anyway. But, I know. Uh, <laughs> I know. You fucking dick. I know. But um. But I still think Tony, uh, uh, Gaethje can absolutely get it done. Like I, I, mm-hmm. I, I'm comfortable picking him because, bro, he hits hard. He does. He hits. He's very. He he, he lands often. Mm-hmm. Tony gets hit in the beginning, especially. Yeah. He can't take that many shots from Gaethje and, yeah. and bounce back from that. But I'm, he's I'm a fresher guy. He, he's uh, he's more prepared. I'm he's been training, right? Right. Tony's been training. He's been right. getting ready for right. for right. Khabib. Gaethje's kind of. I mean, I think he's been training, but not not right. ready, not you know, for right. a title fight. But okay, so. Bang, you got Tony. I'll take Gaethje. Andrade Namajunas. I get pick. I get uh, you. You got the first pick. But you said you wanted Gaethje, though. You no. said I'm comfortable with no, that. No, but pick. you you picked it, and then I told Bro. you I wanted it. So the, all, it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. Dude. So uh, we, the well, Rose, I, Rose, we did not pick last time. Remember, we couldn't agree on Rose, so we threw it out. Uh, well, did uh, is it the same opponent? Who's our opponent? Yeah, Andrade. Yeah, just Andrade. Andrade. Yeah, yeah. So who are you going with? Rose. No, I, I picked. I, well, then, Andrade won last time. Go with Andrade. No, she won. No, I, I, no, I'm not. No, she lost ten minutes Yo, and then no, did a body no. slam. You, no, you got the pick you wanted. I'm taking. To, I'm taking Geishi. Oh, and I'm taking go. Rose. I'm taking Rose. Now, all right, we got, the, from these four, you got Hardy versus Castro. You know who Hardy is. Greg Hardy, the yeah, football player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy, yeah. Versus the, Ca- the Castro. And then you got uh, Luque versus Price. Vicente Luque. Hardy's looked really and, good. And, he got the DQ for the one. He, I think he hit the guy in the back of the head or something. Mm-hmm. I forget. He got a DQ on that. And uh, I think he won his last fight, though, right? He did. I believe he did. He's been pretty good. Pretty, I'd uh, pick Hardy. You pick Hardy? You want, or, or we go. We, we had Stevens and Cater. Well, we, we bet on that one last yeah. time. I picked Stevens. All right. I'll take, I'll take Cater for that one. So. Is that with those three? Yeah, those three? I, fuck, bro. All right, you want to stay away from that one? No, I don't want to shave my fucking head. No, bro. I don't want to shave I didn't want to dress like a fucking little <laughs> sailor boy either. Well, well, the bet wasn't a sailor boy. The bet but was, was just that. Dress, yeah. The bet was I, that I just you. got to dress you. I didn't yeah. know what you were going to dress yeah. me in. Yeah, true, true, <laughs> true. So, all right, so do you want to stay away from that one or what? Or you want to do Hall and Jacare? Mm, I don't know. Jacare. Or, or Francis Ngano and Rosenstruck. Ngano. Why all those you want? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I yeah. probably. Wait, what'd you pick? You N- said Nagano. No, the one before that. What'd I say? Hall and Jacare. You picked Jacare. Jacare. I don't know. So, all right, so what was it? We got, let's get to let's get to something here. All right, so Geishi, you got Tony. I got Rose. 
You got Andrade. That's just a wash. Okay. We need to wash. She's got a win on her. It's gonna. It's a wash. She's got a win on her. And come down to they're fighting in a fucking pandemic. We don't know how these people are gonna show up. I'm not talking about a wash as far as who's gonna win. You know, fights can go anyway. I'm talking about a wash as far as you got one, I got one. Okay, that's fair. All right. So then what, do you get the next one? So you get two picks again? You get two picks no, again? No, no, you got to be confident. You just asked me. You went through a whole thing and said, who, I, right, don't know, right, I don't know who okay, you want. Okay, yeah. I didn't know who you wanted. And then you take, then you take Stevens, I'll take uh, I'll take Kater. Okay, okay. All right, so that's I'm it. not shaving the beard. Oh, what? Come on, bro. I look like a fuck. I might as well right. do the eyebrows right, fine, at that point. Fine. I'm not shaving my beard either then. Okay. All right. All right, best. So shaved head. Fuck you, man. I was so excited to get out of this. Nope, not no more. I pulled you right back man, in. You fucking dick, man. So yeah, so this fucking card is pretty legit, man. It is. Um, it's crazy. You though. know what you look like with a shaved head? I have no idea. I, I got probably got a deformed head. You'll be okay. Fucking dick. All right. You don't have that much hair anyway. I know. But you know what I'm saying? So what's? You know? I spike it up. You just you just kind of let yours grow. That last I, fight, you looked like you had an afro. I did. Yeah, I do just let it go. I'm letting the beard go now too. Are you? I keep saying until we get out of this. this you know this. what? You got no grays though, bro. I, I'm getting. I have gray. some. I have really? some. Really? Yeah. Some. Not, not many. Some. Some. I mean, some. you got a couple years on me, man. <laughs> a few. Yeah. Some. Some people just can't. I guess that has really, generally speaking, it has to do with age, but not always. My cousin's like 26, 27, maybe. He's got more gray than. Yeah, I got. Most, I have a couple, Jesse. I have a couple friends. Jesse's that, got a ton of gray. Yeah, hair. I got a couple friends that were, had gray in high school. Yeah. Yeah, that's just got to be genetic. I don't think it has anything to do with your your age, your telomeres. You know your telomeres? No. I suppose that's, that measures like your age and your telomeres. I thought, thought that was the place that you had Lou Google that was the first place ever founded by human. No, that's Lil Beckley Tepley. <laughs> <laughs> telomeres. No, it's a taco place in fucking <laughs> San Francisco. So, all right. I hear now... Like sports, I hear baseball is saying in May they're trying to get people into, uh, or they're trying to get players to play games. Start no, back, get the players preseason. back to training. Well, they pretty much were in preseason when they came, right, when they right, stopped it, right? right? So I think get the players back to training in May, and then by May they want to have games. I think in Arizona they're talking about no no fans. I mean, are you are you asking and, me what I think about uh, that? I think, yeah, what do you think I, about it? I, I think amazing. I, yeah. I think I think the economic damage from shutting down America, well, the world in itself, but I'm, I'm only concerned with America, is going to have longer lasting effects than this pandemic. I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I think, I mean, I don't, I don't want to talk about this so much, but like, dude, I feel like all right, we're going to come back to a different world. Mm. Shit's going to be different. You know? For a little bit. I don't think it'll be forever. I don't know, man. Mankind has this amazing ability yeah. to adapt. Yeah, like, and like I was thinking too. They really like, do. like we say, you know, where they have the square, you have to stand six, the yeah. lines for six feet apart. Right. How the fuck are you doing it in New York City? Hell oh, no. no. Not happening. On a subway? Yeah, well, not on even a fucking on a subway. subway. Or at Starbucks, bro. You go to a Starbucks in the remember, city. Remember when all those fondlings were happening on subways? They're so packed, so tight. Dudes yeah, yeah. are dudes are like fond and saying, oh, sorry, I, I wasn't trying to do that. You know what I mean? Like, well, you're that close, bro. You know? Who grabbed you? Uh, George was his yeah, name. Yeah. George, yeah. yeah. He was an older guy. George, like, he had uh, nice hands, firm hands. George Michaels. George Michael. Yeah. 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 Is he still alive? I think so, yeah. yeah. George Michael. What was the song? Was, Gotta have faith. Gotta faith, have faith, 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 faith. He got yeah. busted in a men's locker room, I think. The glory hole or something. Yeah. Really? I think so. Yeah, pretty sure. He's, 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 he's gay, right? Yeah, he's yeah. openly gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he touched you. Yeah, yeah, I paid him a little they, money. They, but they, they, they can, they know. G yeah, they know. They know. They know. They have Gator. good Gator on who's on their, their yeah. playing field. You're very. You know. You know what I noticed about you? Every podcast, you're very gay obsessed. I think gay uh, obsessed. You are. You talk all about a lot of gay stuff. I just here. feel like. I feel like you may. I feel like you may. Do you see this picture back here? <laughs> I think that's that's breathing, that speaks, breathing on my speaks neck. Speaks for itself, yeah. <laughs> speaks I, I, for itself. I, I guess I can't argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're the one bare chested. Over I know. There. I'm showing my. You're shaved armpits. Showing, they're not shaved. They're not shaved. <laughs> you're Italian. They're shaved. Bro, actually, I really don't have much hair on my arms. I hate that I'm hairy. I fucking hate hair. I fucking always manscaping. I hate it. So, yeah, and and I see the NHL is going to try to do. Uh, have uh, hockey in North Dakota. Yep. They're like picking areas where there's not like a big population, so they can't. You know what I mean? Right. Stuff like that. Right. Yeah, I think what would we can get this on the what road. Would population have to do with it if there's going to be no spectators? Population would have nothing to do with it, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess you're right. But I, uh -huh. you know, coming into the city, coming into that place, 
you know, you, you, if you have a place that's less populated, you're gonna have less contact with the people. Oh my god, I saw. There. I, I, I just saw a video on. I guess it was Instagram before I came here. I don't know where it is. I'm not gonna comment much on it. I'm not an anti semite in any way, but apparently there was a bunch of Jews. I don't know if they were Hasidic or whatever. Um, congregating in an area i i couldn't believe this was happening in modern day i didn't think this shit had happened since like the 60s 60s riots and they're blasting them with those water cannons and no they're way. flipping them over yeah wow. bro i saw it on instagram before i came here i was like what well, i think it might have been new york but i'm not sure well i've seen something but it was because they were gathering and not dispersing i seen something where they were having I don't know, it was a funeral or a wedding or something but again you see this shit and people say it's one thing and it could have been video from 10 years ago who the fuck knows That's well this i know before. was from now yeah. and they were there trying to break up a funeral or whatever so they were just blasting the sirens yeah, yeah. and they didn't give a fuck they just kept doing what they're doing really I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. You know, you got to look at a lot of different ways. Right. Like, I, it is serious. It is this and that. But then, I'm, like I said, Tim Kennedy, I follow him. He's like, hey, I hope everyone's enjoying their 60-day f- free trial of communism. Yeah. I'm like, damn, is, is that really it? Is yeah. that really what we're dealing with here? I don't know. Jeez, and I've yeah. seen people like, oh, well, they just took our rights away. Like, like or uh, you know what I've seen? I've seen a picture of, like, the Continental Congress, like, you know, all them signing yeah. the Declaration of Independence. And the captain said, hey, you don't know this means shit if there's a virus, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah that's, like, that's actually good. So, that's actually good. I, I don't know. You, I look at it so many different ways. I mean, like, I am following the rules, obviously, and doing this, but then you see people like that saying- I'm following the rules, too, man, but I have never- no, like this. I'm like not this. stressed over this, like this at all. At all. Okay. Not at all. 9-11, right? Yeah. They kind of took some of our, our rights away, yeah. right? With yeah. the Patriot Act, all that right. stuff. That, right. that kind of ways to take your liberties away. Mm-hmm. They're going to find ways, I think, to, take, loophole, our li- yeah. to take our liberties away in this process. So, that never, I don't know where well, I, that, I this, keep seeing this. I this should make this. you, this should make you, and you are to a degree, but this, if anything should convert you over to a diehard Second Amendment supporter, three percenter, this should be it. If that's yeah, what you I, believe. I, I have a gun. I own a if gun. If that's what you I believe. Own a gun. I own a gun. Because it, w- yeah. it will be yeah. a small percentage of Americans... If that ever happens yeah, and stands up against Could tyranny, that happen? Could it that happened happen? once, bro. It I know. happened once. Could that happen? Could that happen again? Well, I don't if, know, if man. You're, you're speaking the language, bro. You're the one saying, look what they're doing to us. Constitution oh. means nothing. And oh, I'm t- I listen, you know? I'm just floating ideas around. I don't know what right. to think. Honestly, I really don't, man. You right. know? I mean, right. I think it, it's good to talk about it. It's good to think about all different kinds of I scenarios agree. of what could happen because you never know. Do I think it could happen? Absolutely. I think that's why our forefathers put it in there. Do I think it could happen? Yeah, no, do I think we'd be? Do I think we'd be a lot closer to it if we didn't? have the second amendment yeah i do i really do truly do i don't think there's some major conspiracy in government but i do think that they control the people to the to the level of the ability that they have to do so you know what i mean and and they're limited by a great deal by the first amendment and the second amendment but i think the second amendment greatly supports the first amendment yeah gives us our first amendment really yeah, but do you think you think a militia could really fucking do something? to Hundred percent. Yeah. If any, and listen to me, man. And I'm saying this. I'm looking right in the fucking eyes. If the government ever said, "I'm coming and I'm I'm knocking on your door, bro, with with force to take your legally owned guns because all my guns are legally owned," I would be part of a militia that said, "Come and get them, motherfuckers." Listen, hundred percent. All, right, all right. Well, <laughs> again, I seen a video, and who knows? Yeah. I don't know the fucking uh, if it's true or whatnot. But it says the WHO supposedly was like this. It was a clip of they were on Fox News. Who knows if it's real? But the WHO said we will. It said worldwide. I don't know if they're talking about U.S., but it said worldwide. We will have to, like they're saying. Oh, we're really the, so, the um, social distancing is working, but now people are spreading it in their households. We may come and have to forcefully take people from their own home if they're. It's got to be bullshit, bro. It's got to be right. Be like, bullshit. there's no way they're fucking coming. When they cross that line, man, there's, there's. I'm telling you, there's diehards out there that just won't let that line be crossed. They, there are, you know, there are. I'm not saying that these crazy, you know, militant. Militia groups, but there's guys that walk that hard line that won't let, you know, our our rights be trampled on and our, yeah. our constitutional rights. There are. Yeah. I would well, be I one of them if it came down to it. I'm not a practicing one. I'm not out there I'm part of an active militia and, you know, at a range. And But I'm telling you, if they, they ever said, you know, what what's, what's the guy that was running for president, that fucking whack job that said we will, you know, take everybody's guns. What was the dude's name? Who? I can't think of his name, uh, but Bezo, Bezo, was it Bezo? Uh, Bezo, that idiot. Jeff Bezos? No, no, that's Amazon. Uh, uh, I think Bezo was his name, but anyway, he's a fucking idiot. But yeah, wants to. Uh, R- Rourke, Beto, Beto Rourke, that one. Maybe okay. that's it. Yeah. yeah. 
But um, there's no way, man. There's just no way. There's yeah. no way. No. I mean, I don't think it's a good idea. I, I don't, it, well, how about this? Like, I keep thinking this. Like, this It's been a month. been over a month now with this quarantine, right? Mm-hmm. So a lot of people Has it work. been over a month? I thought it was three weeks. Has it been over a month? Um, I think Since more. quarantine. I don't think it's been over a month. I don't know, Since man. the actual it's, quarantine. Since what? The, 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 and the, again, you know, you use the word quarantine. It's not the... What you do you know, call it? No, we're we're not, not, shelter at home. The shelter at right. home. That's been three weeks? Only three which, weeks? Which is... Which is not, I don't, I don't know how I want to word this. It's not. It's very loosely worded. Well, you can go to the store. Yeah. I go to work. Right. You can. I mean, you can. I, I saw. I saw today. This is it was a beautiful, a beautiful us. day. I must have seen three hundred motorcycles on the road, just out cruising around, riding with each other in groups. You know what I mean? Like they, they ain't fucking hanging out at home. You know. So it's very loosely. You know, martial law is not in effect. You're not getting arrested. You are getting cited if you're. Having knowingly and actively having a party and being in a large group, and I'm I'm all I'm all I'm all totally fine with that. That should be, yeah, it should be that way, you know. But they're not. If you're out on your motorcycle taking a fucking leisurely cruise just because you're fucking bored, nobody's pulling you over. No, but you should be able to do that. Cause, right. I mean, you're social. Di- I mean, the fuck, you're not. You're not around. I people. agree. I agree. Yeah, that's all within. Listen, the, my the girl guidelines. and I went to the beach the other day. It was her and I were the only two people on the fucking beach. Yeah. She's in my house anyway. What the fuck? And I still have people comment. And we did the stand up challenge. Yeah. I tried to get you and Renee to Me do it. Me and Renee did halfway and then the ceiling. Oh, did you? Yeah, we can get there. She's she's a lot. Like, Renee's athletic, man. She could yeah. probably do that shit. Can she backflip? I bet she I can. Probably she'll do I bet it. She can. So wait, you made it half. She made it to your made it to, like to your hit. back. Yeah. And then you know. God, I would have loved to have seen that. Did you yeah. record that? No. 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 Was it how many? Was, how many takes did it take to get uh, there? Like three, four. Cool, cool, yeah, cool, cool, yeah. cool. Well, we didn't get all the way because the ceiling was too We high. got early. I don't know. But we got really early to my shoulders. And I was like, we got this because she's like a gymnast. And then she fucking bailed. She didn't want to do the backflip. Yeah. She couldn't commit because she didn't think she could plant off me enough. Yeah, yeah. And then we did like fucking twenty. After that, where we kept screwing it up, but we almost had it right off the bat, and I was like, "We should, you should have just." I was being a dick. I'm so competitive. I was like, you "Fucking, you gotta commit. You gotta do that." But I'm Renee not. Renee was like, "I'm not the one backflipping." Well, Renee like, was like, "No way, you could do this. There's no yeah. way." I'm like, "I'll fucking hold you. Yeah, I'll be able to hold yeah, you. Yeah, I don't have as much surface area on my back for yeah, her to yeah, stand. That's, yeah. that's the problem." I kept sometimes. saying that to Danielle. Yeah. I was like, "I got a big fucking back. I got a big fucking back." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was cool though. Yes, yeah, TikTok world, man. We live in now. TikTok's a new thing. All these challenges, and it's it, you, honestly, you have a TikTok? I just started it. I just uh, downloaded I do the it, app, man. but I haven't actually put my information in. So I, I got to do that tonight. But um, it's it, bro. It pa- it's good family time. There's a lot of shit on there you can do with your kids. It's fun to do. It's like funny. It's yeah. cracks your you know. It's like little dance skits and shit like that. It's it passes the time, man. My my kids are into TikTok. I know they're okay. always watching. You it. do any shit with them? What I was that one no. thing you were doing when you were singing? You were running around singing uh, ba- uh, Beastie Boys. What was uh, that? I was just fucking oh, okay. singing. Okay, karaoke, fucking. All right, all right. I got that the bump box. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. See that thing? Yeah, no, I heard of it. But it's just dope, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's just sitting not yo. It's it's like it's like a, a subwoofer. Okay, you know, it thing knocks. And you do karaoke on you it. You can do karaoke okay. on it too. Yeah. All right. Did you have a couple of drinks when you did that? You looked a little tuned up. Um, nah, I think no? it's just riding yeah. the vibe, baby. Yeah. Right. Riding the vibe. All right. I love Beastie Boys though. Oh, dude. Licensed Ill, probably best album ever. That was their first one. Yep. Hell yeah. Yep. That's yeah, man. What year was that? She's eighty eight. Eighty nine. Eighty eight. I would have been 12, 13, 14, 13. Yeah. Yeah, they were they're good, man. Fucking which one died? Mike D died, right? Yeah, cancer, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 So, all right. The only thing I didn't Speak- like about them at the end, they started getting what? really political. I, yeah. I was like, calm down. With that. I can't stand that when celebrities get political. I can't I say it ruins it for me. Yeah. Ruins well, you it. You know what? It's just come. Ruins I don't know. it. I think a rapper, though, is a little different than a celebrity. They're a little bit more in touch with the normal people, I would imagine, especially back then. Especially nah. back then. If it's, like not your pla- if it's not your platform, right? If it's not your platform, that's not what you are known for. I don't have a problem with you being political in your own house. I don't have a problem with you. But when you come out and you try to be this political figure and t- try to influence me because you you, cut, you filmed a couple of cool movies, I'm like, sit down, sit down. You know, or you or you win, you know, some award and you get up and you choose your your speech to talk about your political point of view. Listen, you have every right to do it. I'm not saying you don't have the right to do it. You, you, but you don't want to hear it. I just don't want to fucking hear it. Like, but what about like athletes using their their voice? Same. For political, I mean influence for political influence. 
to use your fame and celebrity for f- political influence. I, I don't. But what I don't if it's get for it. the greater good? They, but they, they think, yeah, they think, they it's, think it's the greater good. good. Exactly, yeah. they think it's the greater good. Yeah. They're influencing people because of their power, rather than letting people, you know, be their own uh, free thinking individual and decide based on, you know, the merit of the individual they may like or their point of view or what they represent. Or well, they they're going to be like, oh, I like, you know, let's just use Michael Jordan. I like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan says, vote for the. I want to vote for this person. That annoys me. You, you play yeah, basketball, well, but for voting and stuff. But like, well, you know, like look how Muhammad Ali, like he he was pretty uh, vocal and, and stuff Very. like that. You know, for for civil rights liberties, I think that was all kind of yeah. good. You know, well, different though. That's yeah, different than what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. sort of different. I mean, you're saying uh, like people trying to push an agenda or push push. I'm a, saying people uh, know they know that they're popular and they have ma- massive influence, especially over a younger generation, like early up and coming, maybe first time voters. Let's say they have massive influence, and they're saying. I'm going to tell these people, and people listen to what they say, not because they know anything about the candidate, you know what I mean? Or, well, how about Joe Rogan gets a lot of flack right now? Cause, I feel like Joe Rogan does a really good job because he listen, goes both listen, sides of the- But listen, right now, he, yeah. he's getting a lot of flack because he's been fucking really riding Biden, okay. saying, he's you know, I'd rather vote for Trump than Biden. Da, 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 this, that, that. Is that really riding Biden by saying, I would rather well, whatever, vote? That's whatever. not riding but Biden. No, but he is, but he's talking about how he's he can't like say <sighs> coherent- words he's like he's fucking he think he think, thinks he's kind of losing it a little bit like okay. like, like you know maybe being a little senile and um, but he never said uh, you guys should vote for trump he just said i would rather vote right, for trump right well no he he um he encouraged call, no, his what, do you, what do you call when oh, he endorsed um bernie sanders though i didn't know that okay yeah, he endorsed bernie right. sanders and he's talking about this but people are on him like oh rogan's irresponsibly speaking da, da, da. dude he's not talking like as if like what I say is gold. He's just being himself, talking to his, he's his not, guest. He's no? not. He's not LeBron James standing up with you know um, Hillary Clinton saying she's my girl. Vote. LeBron has major influence. You know what I mean? Like, he's, yeah, bro, Rogan's Rogan, not bro, doing that. Rogan's got influence in a hand, bro. Right, but he's not doing that. No, I don't. No, no. He's giving his opinion. He's right. He's not. He's not telling you to. Take right. his opinion, right? Or his side, yeah, I agree. Right. That's what I'm saying. He's just sitting there so talking to his guest or his uh, boy. Or that whoever, would be just like you and me sitting here, right? Bullshit. And me and saying, you giving like my guy. opinion, right. and you giving. I'm not looking at that camera saying, "Listen, if you fucking like me and have any respect for me, you vote for this candidate." No, I'm not fucking right. saying right. that. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah, no, I, I see what you're saying. But, but like I said, I like. I've been seeing people talking to Rogan, like, oh, Rogan's so irresponsible, blah, blah, blah. He has such a following. Dude, it's an opinion. that's not his problem. Yeah. That is not his problem. Right. He's not there to think for you. Right. If you're, go- if you're listening, tuning into Joe Rogan to fucking have him think for you, right. you have a problem. Yeah. Totally agree. You know? He's going to give his opinion. It's an opinion-based podcast, and, and it's your, tune him out if you don't want to hear it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's crazy. I don't know. I hadn't heard that, but I honestly, my opinion would be right in line with Rogan. I think Biden is not doing a good job representing himself at all. You know, uh, I think that argument that he got in with they, that union they, car worker, oh, yeah, yeah. I think it made so, him look like a fool. You want to go outside? He said, yeah. Um, my AR-14. Oh, got an AR. What do you need an AR-14? There isn't. There isn't an AR-14. He, he meant AR-15. And he's like, I got a shotgun. I got a shotgun at home. And then he was like, very condescending to the guy. Very condescending. I seen, uh, I think it was on one of their podcasts, Rogan's podcast, talking like the the five people that were up for possible presidency: Trump, mm-hmm. Biden, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren. Mm-hmm. I think, and maybe there's another person I forget. Um, if any of them get elected pre- president, yeah. if any of them get elected president, they'll be the oldest president ever elected, ever. What does that mean, bro? How, How can that be? But, yeah. The oldest president. George ever Washington was. looked like he was four hundred years old. How long, uh, how old was uh, that guy? Uh, but he never tan in bed and fucking yeah. Uh, plugs, back then, plugs, you, you like used Donald to age. Trump. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I find that hard to believe. I That's find crazy it, though. I like, find that hard to believe. It's not like I mean we're, we kind of know like back in the day. Right, Reagan old, look old, old means uh, wisdom, right? Back in the day, old means wisdom. Right. But now we know old kind of means deteriorating a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look at Biden, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that's to do with age or he's just an idiot. I never heard Biden say anything. He just stood up there. He was, you know. He I always was, thought he was kind of cool and shit. I always, he I was, heard, I heard uh, he'd be cursing, cursing Obama. You ever heard that? No. When the bomb's like, fuck yeah, or some shit. No I'm like, shit. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, cool, cool by me. <laughs> I never really heard him speak. He was kind of just, uh, just a. Yeah, I don't get too to it. Talking head, not even talking because he didn't talk. He just kind of was, you know, the silent vice president, really. So I, I've heard the most talking I've ever heard him do is. 
now that he's running, you know? Yeah. I don't know. This is all crazy, though. With the, Who are you going to vote for if you had to vote today? Um, if I had to vote today, I'd probably vote for Trump. Hands down, bar none, Trump. Out of the and not well, because I'm Biden saying here, Trump, I'm mean, probably say Trump. Not because I'm. You got to remember, I was a Marco Rubio guy last election. I wanted Marco Rubio, but he he didn't make it. You know, he never made. The, he didn't get the candidacy. So today, if I had to vote, hands down, bar none, Trump. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. Like I said, in here, in, in we could vote for Trump in Jersey, and our votes don't count. So it don't matter. I disagree. How how no though? How because not? because. All those swing states, that, or not swing states, I'm sorry, all those states that normally were were Democrat states, he won a bunch of them. What was it, Michigan was, was um, hadn't been a Republican one there in forever. I forget what they are. I'm going to talk. People are going to fucking correct me like crazy in the comment section. But there was like three, four states that were always Democrat-run states that he won. That was everybody blue. Remember? Do you remember watching the night, the night of... The election, the red states, the blue states uh, on every channel, uh, and like he was, and people are like, "Wait, I can't fucking believe this happened." Nobody happening. believed it. Yeah, honestly, like I, I mean, conspiracy theory type shit, but like I feel like the Democrats when Hillary versus Trump, they thought no way Trump was gonna win. They were no so confident she thought. was gonna win, so and confident. Then when it happened, ever since he's been president, they've been doing everything in their power just to get him out of there. Everything instead, instead of governing. And yeah. representing their constituents, they're just trying to get this fucking guy out of there. Answer me this, and I'm not fucking sitting here fucking tooting the Trump train. I'm not. But answer me this. Not for you, because our lives haven't changed dramatically, but for almost anybody, anybody, you tell me how anybody's life has changed for the worse in the United States since he's been president. Who? How? Yeah, your your we stocks would, are up? We would. I'm sure your stocks somebody, are up? I'm sure there's somebody out there. Your, 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 the price of your home is up? Well, maybe not now after COVID, but... He didn't. Maybe Trump guy, didn't maybe create guy, COVID. Maybe, maybe, maybe the guy has to clean the White House bathroom. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, ever yeah. since Trump got there, he's yeah, like, maybe. "Fuck this motherfucker." Yeah. Hey, maybe, maybe, but somebody's out there. No, he he's a polarizing dude. That's what most most presidents I, are. The right? thing that I like the least about him is that he's a polarizing dude. That's the thing I like about him the least. I think he should I, talk less and yeah, just be yeah. more of a businessman and run this country like a business because that's what it needs. Yeah. When he does his tweets and his things like that, I, it's a little cringy sometimes. Yeah. I love that he calls out some things. I love that he calls out fake news because that's exactly what it is. I love. It's literally crazy, bro. I, I love I'm certain things about I'm, him. I'm listening but, to people like who, uh, the who, World Health yeah, Organization, yeah. CDC, this and that. I'm hearing some scientists say that they're fucking lying. Yeah. These are the institutions Correct. that we're supposed to get our information from. We're supposed Correct. to have the trust in, and they're lying to us. Correct. And they're and the president tweeted out that they're fucking lying. Yeah. He's gonna start taking money away from them. Yeah, like what? Right. It's just crazy to me. It, it is. It's like we're. That's why nobody knows what to believe, including you or I. Yes, yes. Nobody knows what to fucking. But nothing believe. is what it seems. It's, we're, we're going. It's like, to, it's like you bite down on your bottom lip and you just go with your gut, yeah. and it's just a fucking. It's just a crapshoot for all of us. It really is. Yeah. Sometimes it's better to be a sheep, bro. No, I could never be a sheep. I'm just saying this. Think about this. Better for who? For yourself, the sheep. For yourself, yeah. Well, you. that's listen, listen. Don't don't interpret this the wrong way. I don't mean it to come across as, you know, as as anything but exactly what I'm saying. So you said sometimes it's better to be the sheep. Sometimes you look at a at somebody that's handicapped and like they're in their own fucking world. And sometimes you're like, is that 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 person seems happy? Who's better off? You know what I mean? Like no, so I, I, I exactly yeah yes. But I'm just saying like if I feel like we have too much information. I mean, no, we we don't. I'm just saying. I'm just mm -hmm. talking, right? We have too much information, mm -hmm. like like this, like with this this whole scenario. Is the COVID bad? Is it a conspiracy? Is it? Are they setting this guy up? Are they setting that guy up? Uh, you know what I mean? Like it's like, mm -hmm. like I just, it'd be nice if it was just like I don't fucking see the news. I just go about my day. Mm -hmm. I got blinders on. I live my life. Who gives a fuck? We well, said that about your wife. You said Renee does not fucking watch news. Does she not does. get wrapped no, up in does, all that. She does, but she's on social media though. Oh, so yeah, you know, you're on social yeah. media. You get you get a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know? I suppose. I suppose. I suppose. Yeah. But yeah. she does not like. I'm like Mike Pence. She had. She has no fucking clue who Mike Pence is. Yeah. I don't know. Got a little something. Yeah. I mean, I, there has to be people. Listen, if everybody did that, right? If everybody was a sheep and just you know bowed. I don't mean that then, really. I could, I'm not a sheep type of person, but then I'm it would only be a few wolves just, running the country. It's just stressful. <laughs> it's just stressful having a. Think about all this shit. It is. Time. It is. But I think you have to, and I think we both do this, and I think we do it as best as we can for the, our brain capacity, which 
admittedly is not huge. You have to see it from both ends. You know what I mean? Like I'm not a conspiracy theorist at all. I probably never will be because I'm a fact guy. I'm a, I'm a, you know, it has to be a tangible, touchable, you know, uh, has to have some, 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 some sustenance to it for me to actually bite onto it and believe it. I've never been that way, but I'll hear it. If you want to tell me something and try to convince me, knowledge is power, right? So, but you won't entertain it. No, it's not that I wouldn't entertain it. If it was, if it you was may, enough substance, may, yeah. su- enough, su- you may know something that the last person that told me about. I'm just using this for example. Flat Earth, or try to give it. You may know something that that last guy didn't tell me, and you may say it. And you know, for a, for a while, I, I watched a documentary that kind of changed my mind a little bit about vegans, mm. um, cowspiracy. It really did because I'd never heard anybody come at it from that angle. I, I've said this before. You know, like every that whole cows are just like humans, and you know, like gotta I love it. I, 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 that I that will never convince me. That know, will never I, convince I, me. I, what do, what do, what do we got to be convinced about? Why can't there's I, I have no problem with people that want to just be vegan. Go ahead, be vegan. No, just I don't con- give a fuck. convince that 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 theirs is better than ours. Not better. I don't want to use the better because I didn't. I'm not. I didn't convert to veganism, but there that you can live a completely healthy lifestyle based on a vegan diet, and that the mass production, I guess, if you will, um, of beef cattle and and um, you know beef creatures is dramatically affecting our environment. It is, you know. I don't know. I've, I've heard that it's not, though, also. Well, I watched the documentary, and why, obviously why? documentaries but, can be skewed, but yeah. it had it came with a lot of facts. It came yeah, with a lot but, of facts. But um, but what, what, what is it? How so? Because of the... Uh, the, the what is Because it so much land must be cleared okay, because that, more, yeah, more meat eat, more, more, more and more yeah, meat yeah, eaters... Yeah, yeah. Because of the gases that they put off, because of their byproduct. The gas, that's the, what I heard is not The true. byproducts that go true. into the methane you're talking about? Yeah, that's not yeah, true. Yeah, possibly. It doesn't even sound yeah. like it's right. But the but the byproduct that goes into rivers, you know, they shit a lot, the byproduct mm-hmm. of all that yeah. flowing into our rivers and stuff. And, you know, there's a there's a lot of uh, infectious, you know, stuff in there. So it's, it's you, you create massive amounts of beef and there's a lot of, a lot of um, side effects to that 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 aren't good for our environment. You know? Yeah, uh, I, I guess I, mean, I can see that. But the, the but the thought that you know, and again, we've gone down this road with PETA before that an animal life is the exact same level as a human life is absurd to me. It's not. It's never been. I'm not saying I don't have empathy for animals. I do. I don't even hunt anymore, but I support hunters who you know hunt legally and harvest their game and. And I would hunt again if I. I want to hunt, dude. Let's fucking let's hunt. I've, I've, I, we should go with Corey. Corey, Corey yeah. Anderson. We yeah. should go with Corey. Yeah. I know a couple other hunters in the area, but we should go with Corey. Go, Corey's a big time bow hunter, which is it's. Listen, for you people out there that know nothing about hunting, you're really giving that animal a, a really legitimate shot. You know, hunting with a much more so than hunting with a rifle. You know, you can you can shoot a, a deer. The last deer I shot was like seven years ago, maybe eight years ago, and it was probably. God, I don't know. It was and it was through some thick shit up a fucking mountain and uh, maybe close to 100 yards. It was a long shot, with you know, a rifle with a rifle, mm-hmm. and um, you know, it's a decent shot with a rifle. But you never, you never hit a deer with a fucking arrow at 100 yards no, ever. Right. We could be 30 yards. I, I'd say 30 is probably the average shot. 40 would be reaching. 20 is probably a normal. You know okay, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I, so you pretty much have to wait. You have to wait a lot yeah, longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to wait them out. That's right. I don't know yeah, I'm not a patient guy. That's that's kind of a lot of the reason I don't I, go. I, I would like to give it a shot. I would yeah. like to try. So. I think it's a it's a listen. It's a skill I'm absolutely going to teach my kids. Me and Jenny made by heads on this, and that doesn't mean, you know, they got to kill something. I'm going to take them out in the woods, and I'm going to say, hey, listen, this is what we're doing, and may, maybe we'll see something, maybe we won't, and and um, if we do, we'll we'll decide then if if that's what you want to do, and you know, if they don't want to take the shot, Dad will decide if he wants to take the shot, and I think it's an important skill set for them to learn. If they never want to do it again after dad teaches them, I have no issue with that. I'm not going to force bite, my kids to do anything. You bite the heart of the, of the deer you kill? <laughs> you, you, isn't that like, isn't that what you, they you, say? You watched that fucking movie, what was that, where the Russians invaded, fuck, um, Patrick Swayze. Red was Dawn. Red, Red Dawn, Dawn, Red Dawn, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, no, you know, when I went to I went to college. You and, cooked uh, the heart. The heart's delicious. Yeah, I went you to know, college I'm, in Western PA, so some everybody hunt, hunted yeah, yeah, out there. Yeah. You know, no one hunts around here. I mean, people do, actually. I, didn't, I, I just didn't know. Yeah. Nobody I knew hunted. I didn't, A lot of my, people hunt around here, and I'm going to catch flack by locals for saying this, but, you know, I, I, when you hunt in Maine, when you come to Jersey, it's 
it's hard. Hunt. I mean, I I could walk if I had a backyard. I don't really, but I could walk out into my old backyard and I could feed deer out of my hand practically. There's no. There's like to me, that's not a sport. Like I I want to give the animal a fair shot. I hunted since I was old enough to hunt, like 15 years old. I hunted until I was in my 30s before I ever shot my first deer. That's the truth. Really? Dude, wow. I spent so much time in the woods hunting. I wasn't a great hunter, but I spent an incredible amount of time. Not right, I can tell. Because, <laughs> because the land is so vast up there. They have so much place. They don't need to be around you. Yeah. They don't need to be near you. Right. They don't want right. to be near you. You don't drive but, up but to Maine and see you don't do, but, but like, like Corey does. He like goes, puts corn down and no, stuff. You can't, you, can't, he stalk, he, you can't do that in Maine. Uh, oh, you no? can't feed them. No, you can't bait them. Really? No, no you can't bait them. Wow. Certain places you can. Okay. But I, don't, I, get, I, I guess you, get, you can't hear that. Yeah, you can't hear. Uh, you, get, you get caught baiting them up there. You get in trouble. Yeah. A lot of people do, but you, know, you can bait bear. You would never shoot a bear if you didn't bait it. You can shoot a deer without baiting it. They call bears in Maine anyway. They call them black ghosts because you never see them. You know they're so black elusive. Bears, yeah. They're so elusive. They're very, you know, very scared there's, of humans. There's more, more bears per capita in New Jersey. Jersey. Than any other there place. is. It's true. Yeah. Mostly north. North, but yeah. right, right. Yep. Dude, I swear to God, I was driving down yep. 571 in Jackson from Tom's River to to Millstone. Mark lives out, out there. I'm driving. I swear, I'd look on 571. I look and I seen a fucking bear. Totally could happen. Totally well, could happen. I, I felt like it was tagged. It oh, had like a tag on d- it. Oh, oh shit! I don't know about that. Maybe, yeah. I, I don't know, if like not like a not like a like a. Leash, they do. They do like in the collar, winter. They like bio biologists in the winter time will will find them. They usually do it for the cubs, right? They'll find them in their dens and they're dormant. They they really they. I mean, they'll wake up if you fucking you yeah, know, piss them off. Thing. Okay. But they usually, they sedate the mother and then they pull the cubs out because the cubs are basically harmless and they'll tag them. So it could have been a tag in the ear. Yeah. Could have been. It was a big, it was a big fucking bear. Yeah. You yeah. know? Um, but yeah, okay. So I see, b- grizzly bears, they go in hibernation. Like, mm-hmm. they get fat as fuck. All well, bears. They literally, yeah, all, even black bears mm-hmm. hibernate? Mm-hmm. Okay. So they go in hibernation. Now, they fucking literally don't get up for months. Yeah. yeah. They just sleep the whole time. Well, they eat like in the fall, Crazy, they'll yeah, eat they get, and they just, they fat, gore, like yeah. the salmon runs, right? They right, gorge right. themselves and put on hundreds of pounds and they live off those fat reserves because food is not, you know, you can't dig through six feet of snow yeah. to get, you know, food. Polar bears, they, they, they're they the ones that hunt in the wintertime, you know what I mean? Obviously, yeah, they, they hunt they seals and shit like that. Hibernate, I, don't I don't know. I think I think polar bears do. I, I'm going to, again, I'm an idiot trying to make up fucking, yeah. you know, stats here, but I think they do but not as long as other bears maybe. I think I'm pretty sure polar yeah. bears do hibernate, but they don't do it for as long. I think they do it with their cubs when their cubs are are born, you know, they the mother's nurse with them or whatever. I honestly I'm not 100% sure what I'm talking about here but <coughs> grizzly bear or a gorilla who wins? Grizzly bear all yeah, day long, that's what dude. I said, that's what I said too. I think the gorilla is probably a lot more athletic, but it's it's fucking doesn't have claws yeah. or well, it got teeth, it teeth, but it doesn't really use its yeah. teeth. To, yeah, I do though. They say the gorilla probably could literally just pull your muscles off your body. I would bet. I would bet a grizzly bear yeah. all fucking. Dude, day. You ever see a grizzly all bear's day. claws, bro? They're, they're massive. Fucking they're huge. massive. They're like six, and they're fifteen hundred yeah. pounds animal compared to a five hundred pound animal. A large one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a big oh, fucking grizzly that bear. Is, That's yeah, a yeah. fucking a thousand pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all right. Did you hear the news? Anthony Smith. No, you, you mentioned I'm it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So he had a I didn't listen to the whole I, I listened to the two minutes of the of the interview, but mm-hmm. you know, I got the gist of it. Um he had a home invader in his house. Crazy. And he said the guy came in, he said the world's dumbest criminal right there. Well, his his kids I think are upstairs. Mm-hmm. His his bedroom is on the first floor. And he said his wife woke him up, said someone's in the house, someone's in the house. He got up. He said he goes out out his door. He says fifteen feet, twenty feet away. He said there's this guy just screaming at the top of his lungs. Oh, so it happened outside the house? No, no, no. Oh, and, no. And he said, open oh, the door. Oh, open oh, the door oh. of his of his like, bedroom. bedroom door. Okay. And he's out, and he's like, so crackhead, tweaker. Uh, m- must be, yeah. yeah. And I, again, I gotta sit down and listen to this this whole conversation. But he's like, oh, I fought. He was like, I, he said I was terrified. It was the most terrifying moment of my life. I, I he said the guy he was hitting the guy. The guy kept coming. I think the guy was on like PC yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you say he was, and it's almost like, I guess his gun. He has, like, he didn't bring his gun with him. He yeah, had a gun, didn't bring his gun with him. Yeah. And he fought this guy, and, and I guess you know, well, obviously, no one got hurt. He didn't look like he was banged up, but uh, he's like, yeah, it was the scariest moment of my life. Wow. 
I'm, you know, that kind of bugged me. I'm like, yo, so come to my house, come to my house, motherfucker. Well, yeah. Bro, this dude's as big as you. I've always said that. I've always said that. And I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not trying to come across as a tough guy. But if a guy broke into your house, right, and your family is there, your kids are there, and you have access to a gun, I've got access to a bunch of guns in my house, a bunch, all safely secured for you Disney moms out there. But I have total access to them and know how to use them. And a guy broke in, let's say he's a crackhead, or let's say he's looking to steal or do harm or whatever. And anyway, I don't think I'd go for the gun. Nah, I think I would take that. such fucking enjoyment out of fucking Well, you never know. I mean, killing I mean you that never know if he has a gun. Well, obviously. If he's got a gun, listen, I've got access to a ton of guns, but they're secure. They're in you know, either, either fingerprint lock safes or they're in my big safe or whatever. They're not just laying around the house or whatever. If he's got a gun, he I'm dead already. If his intent is to kill me, I'm never going to get my gun out. So I'm already dead. So yeah. I'm assuming that he doesn't have a gun, right, which right, most right, right. most people no. probably aren't. You're right. I right? Agree. And I don't want to pull a gun on this dude. I want to beat the motherfucking I, I, shit I, I, out of that yeah, guy. I would think I would think I would give the gun to my wife. Say, here, you have the gun. Yeah. If we need to use it. Yeah, if I gun. lose. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> we'll get at it. If I lose, shoot dude, me because I would be so embarrassed. But he was saying, and, and I don't know. I mean, dude, obviously, this is, and he's like I said, he's about your fucking size. So, and he's a very, very good fighter. So, yeah. obviously, he knows how to handle himself. Right. But he's saying, like, yeah, I kept hitting the guy. The guy kept coming, coming, kept coming. Wow. That's why you don't hit somebody, though. Yeah. Because right? the PCP, you're going to fucking hit him and kill him. You yeah. fucking choke him out. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what drugs. Isn't it crazy on. though to to hear that from me, just the average lay person to hear that Anthony Smith, who's an amazing fucking fighter, fought John Jones for God's sakes, said he was the most scared he's ever been, the most freaked out he's, and he's punching this guy and the guys keep coming. Isn't it isn't it weird how like you said your the the best fights, the most memorable fights you ever had were before you ever became yeah, a fucking yeah, yeah. like hell seaside yeah. fights? Hell like yeah. you know what I mean? But like, think it's of, crazy. But, but when he's talking about it, it's terrifying. <clears throat> I'm sure he means. It wasn't just terrifying for him. Yeah. His fucking family's there. Right, His kids right. are, you don't know what right. this guy's going right, to do. Right, right. This is what this guy might have. But in my mind, in my head, at least how I'm programmed, and I would think how he's programmed, just rage, come, rage, because your family is there, would come over me, and I would just, I would I would become, I feel like, I would, maybe I'm wrong, I feel like I would just become superhuman and rip that fucker's throat out of his face. You know what I mean? Like, Yo, Biggie will fuck this Yeah, yeah, I get yeah, on yeah, true, Biggie true. will Bro, fuck you Damn dick, up, by bro. the way, thank God Biggie knows me now and likes me now. I walk through your fucking gate because I don't go upstairs now because of COVID. I, his family's upstairs. I come right into the basement. He's got he's got two pits. One's a female, and she's just a beautiful, friendly dog. You know, looks pit. And he's got this other one named Biggie. That Biggie is what breed? He's a, a bully breed. Bully. Mm -hmm. So that's bully, what makes yeah. him look like a fucking freak. This thing has got muscles. You you pet his head. He's got muscles on top of his head. It's just he's just all muscle. And he's intimidating as fuck. He's a really friendly dog, really awesome dog. But he, he bum rushes the front door if he doesn't know you. Like, he's going to rip your head off, and then he's chill. He just sniffs you. I went through the back. Frank is like, go through the back gate and then come down in the basement, and both dogs are in the back. I opened that gate, and they looked at me like, you're going to get a fucking eaten, boy. <laughs> Thank God they like me, but... Yeah, but Piggy <laughs> hangs on that rope, man. It's crazy. I know, yeah, I know. He, his tongue is too big for his his his, his, his head. The his, tongue, his tongue is yeah. always hanging out. Oh, okay. So look, he jumps up and he bites that rope. Bites his tongue. tongue half hangs out. He gets off the rope. He's fucking pouring believe blood it. every it. single time. Every single time. Fuck. He's a fucking animal, bro. I believe it. That's crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, dude, uh, you know, that scared me, man, a little bit. I'll be honest. Because yeah. I was like, yeah, who the fuck come to my fucking house, motherfucker? Well, I got Anthony Smith saying, damn, I was a little scared. That's remember that's remember, I shot the video the other day, and I almost panned. I was like, I met Frankie Eggers, and I almost panned the phone around. I was like, that would be dumb. I don't want to fucking show at Frankie Eggers' house. And then I'm thinking, fucking Frankie will kill anybody. But then I'm thinking, now I'm thinking, you're telling the story. Bro, half the time your garage door's wide open. Your fucking kids, front door's yeah, always man, wide know, open. Know, you're fucking... Yeah, but, I, but now, well, honestly, now that this is kind of going on, and yeah. just who knows, people are getting desperate, and whatever. Yeah. I've been on top of that stuff a little more, a little okay. more. I think we have to be. Yeah, bro. Like I hear they're really they're letting people out of jail too. I heard that, and and yeah. not only that, like cops. This is like a thing too. Like Jersey's hit that hard, hit hard. New York's really hit hard. I don't know how everyone else is compared, you know, mm -hmm. but. uh just saying, a lot of cops are getting it. So all these cops are getting it. So now they're they're out of work. Wasn't there the like last week? Didn't nine hundred NYPD officers call out something wow. like that? Nine hundred called wow. out. I heard. I heard yeah. anyway. Yeah, I'm. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Crazy. 
not not I'm not saying 900 had it. I'm saying 900 called out because they didn't want to get it. But right, right. I yeah. heard something else about the New Jersey State Police. I forget how many officers have it. Yeah. yeah. Think about it. They get they see so many people. Like Mark right. Lee got it. Right. You know. Oh, you know he's, what they're doing now too, he's, though. He's in so many houses. Fucking dickheads, assholes, and I totally. This is totally 100 percent the right thing to do. There's been a numerous cases where. Excuse me. Normally it's domestic, obviously, where people are fucking, you know, extremely emotional. Cops respond usually to drag the husband out, typically, and the husband is saying, I have COVID-19 and starts spitting and coughing on the officers. They just upgraded all the charges oh, yeah, to yeah, that yeah, yeah, I know. where you're doing some serious prison time now and paying a huge fine if you do it. You should be able to beat the hell out of them. You should. You yeah. should. I'm, you not, really I'm should. not all about police brutality, but, yo, you spit on someone, right. you should be able to beat the fuck out right, of right, them. Right, right, right. There's levels of respect. Especially now. Yeah, yeah. Especially now. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I totally agree with that. Yep. Bro, you you, you know uh, Dave Portney? No. No, from Barstool Sports. Oh yes, yeah, I right. love that guy. That's I didn't know his name. Yeah, yeah. okay. Ha, have you? I've been fucking entertained yeah. by his his frozen pizza reviews. Oh fuck! Have I've watched them. No, but I've seen. Dude, I've started them, and I was like, "What is he bro, doing? I've what is he doing?" Every day, I look fuck, forward. Is that what I'm he's looking doing? Forward to this because I'm thing. looking. I'm like, ah, oh, he's making some joke. Usually, I'm fucking at work, no, whatever. He's doing I, pizza reviews every day because he used to do them at like yes, you know, regular yes. restaurant. I didn't think of that. Now yeah. he's doing the frozen pizza review. I wonder who's and it's, dude. He's fucking great. He's good. He's really good. He's sitting there. He dabbles a little bit in political commentary. There's been a few channels that have had him on. Man, he's 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 an entertaining guy. He sets up. The, the the tripod just right at his table and just does the fuck yep, review himself yep, blah, yep. blah blah and he's doing one review and all of a sudden you're ding dong the fucking door comes it's a package he's like ah oh, now I gotta open the package right so then everyone starts sending him packages bro uh, he put his address he put his address no. out there everybody sent so everybody wants free publicity yeah. so now he's doing his pizza review in, in the morning uh, then he's doing live package openings at 8 o'clock at the night the guy's smart man he's smart he's a smart dude yeah, you know, there yeah. are certain people bro, they're, they're, they're a legit there are, are certain people like Carol Baskin <laughs> that that get the YouTube fucking sensation thing early and they, they just figure it out you know bro he literally started I, I see I was watching some of his uh, documentary I think he started out like being like a, 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 he wanted to start a newspaper Oh really? Yeah, that's okay. how Barstool Sports started. No shit. It was like a new. He literally started like you know like those order shoppers yep. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Barstool Sports newspaper. Uh, he had like those little like uh, carts or, or you know uh, containers yep. or whatever that held them all around Boston. He's had some big time athletes on his on his uh, channel. You know on his Dude, social think, media. Are they are they publicly traded Barstool? Oh fuck! Can't no way. No really? I don't know, bro. It's oh, a I don't big, know. Dude, Is they're saying big? Barstool. Uh, sports might have more traction than ESPN. No. Yes. I don't know. Maybe I'm know maybe talking some shit here. I don't know that. I heard they got a lot of traction. Yeah. Hmm. You want to come on our podcast? <laughs> He's in New York. He's. Uh, I know. Yeah. Right there in New York. He, yeah. does, he did all the pizza reviews of all the big he pizza did one, places. He, he, did, he did Brooklyn Square and uh, Jackson. Oh, yeah, did he? Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. Mark don't want him to go up to Pino's. No? Because he's like, dude, he gives fucking bad reviews all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? True, 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 But true. The, the Brooklyn Square, he gave a good review, and they said they're fucking, this is obviously before the, this shit, but oh, they, were, they, they were jam-packed. They just jam-packed. put the one in Tom's River, and uh, normally when I order pizza, I call fucking Brooklyn Square. Yeah, you know? I like it. I like that honeymoon pie. That's pretty good. What's that, man? It's got, it's, well, it's called honeymoon pie, but it has honey on it. And it has, honey on a pizza? It, it, bro, it's oh. good, dude. It's good. It's a thin crust. It's, it's good. pizza. No, it's good, nah, bro. Nah, nah. It's I good. like their stuff, man. They make it's good. good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Their Brooklyn Square pie is good. It's, I'm it's, hungry it's like now. The thick, yep. the thick crust. Yeah, well, that's their signature pie, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, man. But, you know. So how are you surviving over here in the Edgar household, man? I'm doing all right, man. Yeah. doing all right. My kids are uh, breaking me a little bit, but. Just you know, it's 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 uh, this is interesting times, man. It really is. Like, I feel like I, I'm uh, I'm definitely a busybody. Like, I'm in my head all the time. Right. I have to be doing stuff. I literally get up every morning. I have my coffee, go hang out with the family, and I'm like, I go for a ride in the morning. Like, I'm going to work because I feel like I gotta fucking go. I gotta I gotta leave my house a okay. little bit. So I not go. just a busy. See, I thought when you said busybody, I thought you meant physically. Like, I gotta be no like, phys- I am physically, mean, but I also need to have like a, need to, I'm yeah. a routine guy. Yeah, yeah. Like I, always, I, I get up in the morning, I go yeah. t- get my coffee, and I drive to the gym. Yep. Yeah. And I go work out, I come out, you know, whatever. So at least I go, I still got my drive. Yep. I go fucking, I pretty much, I go drive by, you know, I haven't seen my parents. Actually, yep. we went, went to my parents' house, we stayed on the lawn, they were, in the, they were on the lawn far, far away from each other. Uh, Renee's mom came over, we stayed in, a, she was in the car, we stayed on uh, the lawn, you yeah, know. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I literally I drive around, go check out my parents' house, I go check out my father-in-law's mm-hmm. house. I I'm, gotta do something. I feel lucky in that I'm an essential employee, and I actually do something essential to keep people warm and keep... 
you know, fucking vehicles up and running or diesels up and running and things of that nature. But uh, I feel lucky because I get out of my house. I'm, I'm yeah, uh, no. listen, I, the last year of my life has been, <laughs> been a little bit of a rough one, those of you that don't know, but I let my, um, physicality uh you know go downhill a little bit with the gym and i was just kind of getting back into it and now it's down again so yeah. i should be i don't have a gym in the basement i don't have any of that but i should be at least doing push-ups or pull-ups yeah, or whatever yeah. and i'm not even doing that i'm i i gotta, gotta make it a routine put I know. it put it in like your you know what i have been doing though planner been busting my ass around my house and doing like projects i've been yeah. i planted so many plants and flowers and trees and my girl's been helping me my backyard's almost done and I got a koi pond guy coming over Friday, and That's you cool. know I've just been I, every day after work I come home and I work and I do shit because I can't yeah. go to the gym. So yeah, yeah, you know I raked my whole yard. Doesn't even look like I touched it. Oh, what more leaves fell? Dude, no, I just have so many trees. Like uh, everything's just you know it's just Biggie painting. probably rips half the limbs. Yeah, and like dude, I, my grass is shot in the backyard. Right. The dogs killed it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, That's one thing I don't miss. So listen, I owned a dog for eleven years. I had a French bulldog, Diesel. Love that guy to death. Um, that was a French bulldog. The, the black Diesel and white was? one? Diesel was French Bulldog. Yeah. Really? Well, yeah, he's yeah. jacked. Yeah, he was pretty jacked. He was a big guy. Yeah. He was a big, I think the, I think someone, I think there might have been a little crossbreeding there, but yeah. he, I got his paperwork, said he was full bred. I think they lie on that shit. It was the toughest dog I ever met, bro. That thing was so tough. But anyway, um, yeah, I had him for 11 years. He got can't, he had a massive tumor. I had to put him down, but, um, you know, about 11 years, which is the average age of a Bulldog is about yeah. 10 years. And... Um, Jenny, of course, had her two dogs, and I, my response, her dogs were kind of indoor dogs. They really didn't leave their room much, but they would go outside at least once a day, maybe twice a day, and they always pooped on the back patio, and Diesel always pu- pooped on the lawn, which I respected. I was like, good boy, you're fucking not shitting on the fucking patio yeah. where people walk around, you know, but kills your grass. That's one thing I don't miss, bro. Every day after work, I would get home at 4.30. Every day, I'd be in the backyard with a pooper scooper for about 10. I wouldn't even go in the house. I'd just go in the backyard with a pooper scooper for like 10 minutes, walk around looking for shit, yeah, and yeah. I don't miss it. I don't yeah, miss it. And now, it, like, we had... We have two dogs, you know. That's what. That's what. Uh, I'm and you got big dogs, dogs, so they yeah. got shits that are like this yeah, fucking big, bro. Yeah. Who's the pooper picker up? Are you? Me and my kids. Uh, go, go. I, I make them do it, and they okay. do it half ass, so uh, I have to follow suit. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But yeah. um, I, I love having a dog, man. How do you? <laughs> can't believe we're talking about this. How do you pick up your dog poop with a pooper scooper? I always did it. I had a regular garbage can outside because shit obviously stinks, with a big one of those big industrial fucking bags in it. And I would walk, I would drag it, it was on wheels, I'd drag it behind me, I'd pick up the poop and put it in there. And then I would throw that every week in the garbage can so it didn't reek. So every week I would collect a week's worth of shit and then it would go out with the week's garbage. How do you do it? Yeah. I, That's how you do it? I I have like the, the it looks like a rake. Dude, my girl walks around and puts a, a bag over her hand with yeah, her dog, so, yeah, picks it up. Uh, I'm like, that is fucking disgusting. Yeah, I don't it's do that. fucking I gross. Use, She's like, why? Rake. It doesn't touch like, my hands. It's like a little container. Like, yeah. You know, like I'm cleaning up like a janitor. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Rake. Right. I clean it up and I, put, I, I take... A bucket. Yeah. I put a plastic bag in a bucket. Oh, okay. So like when you usually yeah. have the bag, it gets all fucked exactly. up. Exactly. So yeah. I put it in yeah. a bucket, then I put it in there, and then all I right. throw it in the garbage. All right. all right. How do you guys collect your dog poop? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love dog. You can't. This is what you can never sneak up on someone with a dog. No. No. Yeah. Right. I and agree. like think about it, bro. Like you said, if someone comes. You're not going to have any issues in this someone house. Someone comes snooping around my house to hear the fucking dog barking. No. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'll pick it in the next house. I know your dogs, and your dogs like me. And I, I was like, fuck. <laughs> you know, but I think they sense that. If I went through that gate, like, fucking cracked it open, it was like, well, oh. I just fucking walked right in the backyard yeah, like yeah, I owned that's it. That's what you got to do. do. <laughs> Phoenix, she's a, she's a pushover. She ain't going to do nothing to nobody. Mm. Biggie, though, know, he might get you. Biggie is... I'll tell you what, man. I see I, I see him on that uh, on that rope, and I'm like, damn. Yeah. This dude grabs me? Yeah. I'm in trouble. Yeah. I'm going to have to kill him. Yeah? I'm like, what, I'm have to get... I'm going to have to drag him to a knife. I, I Sometimes I wonder, like, what would I do? And I th- I have this perfect plan in my head that would probably never work in real life if a mat, like if something biggie size grabbed me. I'm like... Because I've seen people do it on videos before on, like, YouTube. Of dog. You grab their back leg, and you swing them. Right, so their head is facing away from you. If you can get their back leg, which obviously is going to be hard to get their mouth off you if they get you, yeah, no but if way. you can get their back leg without them biting you first, and then you just fucking swing them, and I would just keep this fucking thing swinging, and I'd probably bash his head off something if it was going to kill me. But uh, I don't know, you know, I, I feel like if he got me, I'm not going to. If he off. got you, he's not going to let go. Yeah, so. dude, I'm talking about before for... he gets me. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. If you can I get his back leg somehow. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. It's but tough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like. 
Yeah. Have you ever been bit by a dog? Oh, fucking like 10 times, bro. Really? I, I delivered oil for my dad in Maine, right? And uh-huh. nobody, nobody in Maine keeps a dog on a leash or, you know, fucking everybody has like a stray dog up there. It's like fucking just, you know, I don't think half of them are even licensed. So I got bit, <laughs> shit, probably 10 times delivering oil for my dad. Remember, you got bit by t- 10 times? I remember one time, well, one time I was delivering with this guy, Barry. He was training me. It was the middle of the winter, and I was like I was like the hose dragger, right? I would drag the hose out and stuff. This is when I was learning before I even had my CDL or whatever. And, I, and it was deep snow. It was like three feet of snow, and I dragged this hose out and got to this house. And this was back when, you're not going to know what this is, but it was regular fill. So you have like a spout that fits on it. Now it's all quick fills, like quick connects, so you can't disconnect it. But back then, everything was like a regular fill. So we were filling it, and Barry happened to walk down there with me, and we're at this house, and this fucking Doberman Pinscher comes around the corner, bro, and like three feet of snow. He's like hopping in the snow, but he's vicious, and he's coming at us. And Barry just pulled that fucking thing out of the fill and blasted that that dog with like 80 gallons a minute right in the fucking face and like of flipped oil, that of oil, of oil <laughs> flipped that thing over backwards and fucking just started yelping and shit and there was the snow was all red and shit uh, he's like kick shit. kick the fucking snow over the you know <laughs> <laughs> fuck i would get bit by a dog too yeah shit. so yeah but you didn't get bit that never time never got bit that time <laughs> never got bit that time i got bit a couple of times i was a kid i uh playing with my buddy's dog it was a golden retriever he was on top of it, the dog was it was my fault. The yeah. dog the dog was got startled because he was sleeping. Uh-oh. I'm in front of it, bang! It bit my arm, yeah. my, my my hand. Yeah. No big deal. And then uh, my dog. This is my first dog. Remember Achilles? Remember that? Dog? That fucking yeah. dog is the one that scared me the most. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, your, your wife one time I saw her somewhere, and you were away. You were at like a fight camp, or you were oh, you weren't around. Yeah. And she's like. You know, she knew, obviously, I knew you guys. She was like, you know, that she always does your T-shirts for you. Right, right. She's like, you want T-shirts? I was like, fuck yeah, I want T-shirts. You know what I mean? She's like, I have them. They're on the, they're on the living room table, you know, at the, this when you guys had yeah, the condo. Yeah. She's like, just stop by and go get them. The, the key, I think she told me where the key was or it was unlocked or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, awesome. And I'm all pumped. I'm like, I'm going to fucking get a Frankie Edgar shirt or whatever. I think I bought like two of them, right? I drive over there. I open the door, and this fuck your dog is just staring at me like, "Come, come get him! <laughs> Fucking come on, come on!" Please so go, now this go. is me like with the door crack. I'm like, shut it. And I'm like, fuck. Do I go in there <laughs> fucking you know, I build up enough confidence I'm like alright just act like you own this fucking house I open the door and then Achilles is like the hair on the back of the neck is standing up and shit and I'm like fuck I shut the door again and I'm like you can't now you can't be a pussy and call Renee or whatever and say oh I, I didn't dare go in cause she's gonna be like oh Achilles is harmless so I did man I walked past that fucking dog and I was fucking scared but <laughs> you never know I mean yeah. they, they look you see a pit bull bro, you're like what the fuck yeah you know yeah. but I, he got in a fight with my uh, my parents dog okay and uh they were fighting. My dad, my dog had that dog by the neck. It was fucking ragged on it. And my dad's, my dad's fucking poor in my dad's house in his backyard. What did you, what did your parents have for a dog? A pit, it was my sister's dog. Oh, pit bull too. Okay, okay. So it was two pit bulls. And my dad's like, he's going to kill him. He's going to kill him. So I'm fucking, I'm, dude, I'm punching my dog, kicking my dog, well, screaming. I'm like, no, I hit it. I, I broke like three broomsticks boom, over his back. And finally I grabbed him. I started choking him. And he started like to, about to let go. The dog fucking bites me in the other arm. The, the other the dog, other dog bite, bites me in the arm. Bang! I'm no. like, fuck. Oh, on that. I'm like, now I'm screaming like, yeah. fuck, fuck, yeah. bro. Literally, when it bit me, I felt my bones in its yeah, teeth. You know what I mean? It literally yeah, went yeah. boom. Yeah, right it, it wasn't trying to hurt me though. Right. It was just Scared. it was startled. Yeah, yeah. So it bit me. You know. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck. So wait, fuck. you're choking out Achilles. Achilles lets go with the other dog, and then the other dog bites you. No, no. Oh no. Because I'm choking Achilles. The dog's mouth is right here. Oh, what? Where, where is Achilles? It's atta- on his neck. Okay. So on my neck, uh, his neck's right there. So yep. what I'm doing this is it took my free arm, my arm, my other yep, free arm. Yep. It was like boom, it, yep. it fucking it, it snapped. And I'm like fuck. fuck. Now I'm trying to throw him in the. I'm trying to get him into the pool. I didn't yep. know how to like my right. dog. Achilles was an animal, bro. Right, right. I'm trying <laughs> to get him in the pool. We almost went into the house. I'm fucking net. So then I, I'm, I grab him. I'm almost getting him in the pool again. Bang! Hit me in my other arm. Wow. Hit me in my other arm. I'm now flipping the fuck out. I was drinking yeah. all day. Yeah, it was like yeah, more yeah, all day. Yeah, yeah. I'm like fuck. <laughs> Finally, I took a stick and I, I fucking smacked Achilles in the snout with a stick like fucking three times. And fight. like I felt bad. I felt yeah, bad yeah, doing yeah. it to my dog. Right. But it finally, he lets go. He shakes his head and starts going. I had to jump on the fucking dog. No. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm like, Damn. so that's that's the thing with pits. And I, listen, I'm, I'm not gonna bad mouth pits. My girl's got a pit. Fucking friendliest dog ever. That her pull pit gets attacked by every dog. Like a little dog fucks up her dog. It's crazy. <laughs> But anyway, um, it's the damage that they can do yeah, yeah. if they decide to. Right. That's the crazy part. 
Dude, this dog I have now, man, Biggie, like he's another level, bro. That thing's he's another level, bro. Man. If he wanted, to, if he wanted to kill you, that fucking yeah, dog would kill yeah. you. Dude, he hangs on that rope, man. For, he's got like, muscles. He hangs on that rope so much. When I come over here, I've actually never seen him do it other than your Instagram stuff. But when I come over here after he's done it, bro, the thing looks like he's half dead. He can yeah, barely walk around because yeah. he beat the shit yeah, out of himself does, so bro. bad. He goes onto the rope now. He goes yeah. on the rope and you know, he yells at it. He's like. Rah, 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 rah. I'm like, dude, just get the fucking thing. Get it, get it. <laughs> oh, under it. He's, He's looking under at it. He's under it. He's like, yeah, yeah. like yeah, what he are you wants doing? It so bad, yeah. yeah. So funny, That's man. Listen, and you didn't teach him that. That is ingrained in his fucking brain. Well, you his, just hung that in a tree, right? I did. I, 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 you know, I played with him a little bit in the beginning. You hang from it a little bit? No, not right. <laughs> but his, the, where I got Devil's Damn Bullies, it's, yeah. a, it's a breeder out in PA. Okay. All his dogs do that. Oh, so, th- but you got him so young, there's no way he could have jumped that fucking high when he was a puppy, no? No, 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 no. How old did you get him? No, I got him t- like 12 weeks. So it's ingrained weeks. in that breed yeah, and that, yeah, 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 yeah. okay. They're yeah. game, they're yeah. gamey, real game. Yeah. They got a lot of game in them, you know? Yeah. What? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I ever get another dog. Maybe when my kids are old enough. Jenny still got the two little ones, and the kids, you know, got that. Now, now she got them ham. Fuck my poor kids, man. What? Jenny went out and bought them hamsters, right? Milani wanted a hamster, and I, I got a lizard. I got what you guys had. Cause I got it because what, you guys the, uh, had. I got a bearded dragon. Yeah, you still have it. Yeah, because it's like I've had it for about a year. It's the easiest thing to take care of, and I was like, I'm not getting another dog. Dude, it is, but it, but you got to buy fucking crickets all the time. All the time, bro. That's annoying. As all shit. the time. I've got. I got like little chopped up meat. I've got collard greens. I've got blueberries. I always have them in my fridge, right? And the thing eats them like crazy. No problem. Eats blueberries? Eats blueberry. Loves blueberries. Really? Loves collard greens and loves this little meat. There's little sliced up meat. You buy it in a big thing and it fucking loves the shit out of it. Well, Danielle, who's fucking come to love my lizard, you know, my girl, is like, oh no, crickets are his favorite. We have to go get him crickets. So every time she comes down, we're fucking driving to get this thing crickets because they're his favorite, right? And they probably are. <laughs> Hell like, yeah. Hell likes yeah. to chase them around, but. Always got to have fucking crickets. I'm like, just give him some that fucking That is fun meat, watching you know? him eat the crickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. But you you got you got this household over here, though, where you just let your animals. I don't know if it's you. I think it's your kids. You just let your fucking animals go. That fucking bearded dragon used to get out. The fucking yeah, well, gerbils. Well, the fucking- we, we let go. We, we got rid of the bearded dragons. Yeah. We got them uh, hamsters now. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, we lost one. My kids have hamsters, and they keep dying. Yeah, yeah. We lo- I found one. Because think, of shit dog, that they I had before they got them. I think my dog oh, died. Oh, fuck. Baby? I don't know, though, man. Because, like... Big Maybe wait, wait. You didn't find any remnants of it? No, I found the, the thing. Oh, you did. But look, I think Biggie scared the fuck out of it. Oh. You know what I mean? Because it didn't have no puncture holes in it. But it was like <laughs> his face was like startled as fuck. Yeah. And Tino, do Tino, the face, do Tino's the face, looking do for the face. It. And T- Tino's looking for it. And Tino found. It. Tino's like, oh, I see his face. Like he got all upset. I'm like, oh man, damn. Uh, you know. But I'm, you know, they. Bro, when you had the bearded, the re- part of the reason I got the bearded is the first time I saw your kids bring it down. They were putting it on not not uh, uh, on Phoenix on Phoenix's yeah. head. Yeah, yeah, she she, she put it on her head. It was just sitting she there. Don't, yeah. She don't. She does not hurt a f- anything. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I had chickens. I told you I had chickens. Yeah, yeah. I had chickens in my back. That wasn't Phoenix. That was Biggie, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Big Phoenix was fine with the chickens. Yeah, yeah. Biggie used to chase them all the time. Yeah. So then finally we were like, all right, we can't have them around. It. These guys started getting big. Then one day I remember uh, Chris was over. He was, you know, staying over to train in the morning, and um, I see Biggie at the door. I go to let him in, and yo, he has a fucking raw piece of chicken in his mouth, like a chicken cutlet. It looked like it was seasoned because it fell on the ground. I'm like, I'm like, dude, where the fuck did he get this chicken? And I'm, I'm looking at the, my chicken coop, and it, does, it it looks fine. It looks like nothing's going on. So I'm like, listen, 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 listen. I I ate a I ate a goldfish that was this big, uh, right? And and I posted a video of it, and it was a feeder fish. It was going to get eaten anyway. And they came for me, and they want my kids to die. I just want you to remember that before you finish the story, because uh, Pete is coming for you. Listen, Pete listen. is coming for you. I have the chi- I take care of the chickens. Very good. <laughs> well, I we got rid of them. I gave them to a better home because of the dog. Yeah. All right, but we took care of the chickens very well. Okay. They were, had their own little thing. The dogs never mixed with them. Right? And that Peter. All right. All right, but my. F- so, so listen, let me let me get back to the story. So the dog's got a piece of chickens. I look at the chickens. I see nothing wrong with the chickens. I'm like, it's not the fucking chickens. Right. I'm thinking my neighbor's throwing over chicken cutlets <laughs> to my dog or something. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, hey, give me that. I'm like, I'm, I'm like trying to get it out of his mouth. He's like, <laughs> he fucking sucks it down. I'm like, damn. So whatever. It was like late at night. I'm like, All right. I, go, I go I go in the bedroom. I tell Renee. I'm like, I'm like, damn. I was like, I was like, fucking big had a chicken in his mouth. I was like, I don't think it was the chickens. I looked. I was like, the chickens look look okay. Then. Whatever she wakes up in the morning, 
She comes in, she's like, it was a, one of our chickens. Oh, Maybe no. kill it. But if they're in the coop, what, okay. like one no, got what out? What happened was my kids' friends were over uh, playing. They left the fucking coop open. One, uh, two chickens got out. Oh, fuck. Two chickens got out, so he killed the one and, and fucked up another one, but Renee nursed it back to health. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, it killed the chicken. It ate, dude. It ate only like the chicken. It took the chicken breast. Isn't that crazy? It, that's, it ate that and left the chicken. Dude, I come in. I come later on that day. The chicken's still there. Yeah, like, yeah. Half a chicken. A red hawk is fucking eating it. No. Yeah. I'm like, damn, that's pretty cool. That's man. nature, though. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Cool, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's nature. But yeah, we got rid of the chickens. So it didn't work out too good. Fuck. What's the best animal you ever owned? I think Biggie, man. Biggie. Yeah. Really. The fucking killer, stone, killer, the stone killer. face killer. I mean, I had so so my dogs. I had Achilles. I mean, I had, I had dogs growing up. Mm-hmm. I guess my parents had a dog. They had a dog. It wasn't my dog, so I never, they had a dog. That fucking dog used to bark all the time. Just jump on me shit. And I can't stand barking. I, I can't. Like, stand. I had beef with this dog. You know Dude, what I, mean? I can't stand barking so, dogs. So I got Achilles. The Achilles was great. Mm-hmm. He died at nine. Yeah. But I had Achilles before we had kids. Didn't he have a weird story? How did he die? Was that a weird fucking story? Yeah, like, like uh, um. I don't know, like a seizure. What do you call it when you, when you, you just get stuck? Stroke? No, nah, gas yeah, stroke. I guess okay. a stroke, yeah. Right. Um, but he was great. Fucking great dog. And then once he started having kids, he just turned different. You know what I mean? Oh, like, really? He was our- Because he, like, he wasn't our, getting the attention. Yeah, because yeah. he was our kid. He was our kid, you know? Yep. So then when he died, we got Dempsey. Dempsey was like I remember a 90-pound pit bull. Yeah. Awesome yep. dog, yep. man. Awesome dog. Dempsey. What happened to Dempsey? Fucking died of a heart murmur. Year Maybe that's what I'm talking yeah, about, Dempsey. Yeah. That's year and I knew, a half. yes, year and a half. That's yep. what it was. Yeah, it was weird. Yep, Dempsey is the one. I'm and then we of. adopted Phoenix. Yep. Well, she's great. She's, she's cool. A she's a sweetheart. She's, yeah, a, she's sweetheart. a sweetheart. Yeah. But like you know, she's I didn't have her since a, a puppy. Right. You know what I mean? And, right. and we're cool. She, but she she loves anybody and everybody. She does, so it's yeah, like yeah. you know, you're sweet. Now you're a sweetheart because you like me. You're a and the only reason Biggie doesn't right fucking shred her is because she's a female, right? Nah, he's not. He's not. He's not dog. If that was a male, he would be cool. I, mean, I don't know about living in a house, but right. he, I bring him around other dogs, and he's pretty good. Really? Yeah. Wow. He's a, he's a, the bully, bully breed. They supposedly breed that out of them. Uh, he's a razor's edge bully. Okay. okay. I don't know. That's what I hear. You know. You better be. You listen. You you better be fucking happy that he's cool because no, like yeah, you no, could I never can pull that dog off what, another though, but dog. He, he still he still has that like skittish a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean, like not skittish, but like he's just yeah. he's very aware. Like, yeah. all right, is this dude good? Is this dude good? Yeah, yeah, you know I, I know. Like, like, when I used yeah. to, when, before I got to know him, and yeah. I used to come through the door, I'd be like, "Fuck, please don't take my leg off. Please don't take my leg off." <laughs> but I never have like instant with him where I worry yeah. about that. None of my dogs, none of my dogs ever, yeah. ever bit any like a per, like right. a person. Now my now Achilles, he got in fight with. My parents' dog, and he got in a fight with Renee's parents' dog, uh, and Renee fucking was home alone oh, trying fuck. to break them up, and it was two, my dog was fighting two dogs, oh, and shit. my dog was attached to the one dog, and the other dog kept coming and just biting my dog. My dog wouldn't like the pit bulls; they don't like go. go. Yeah. Renee got bit by the dog, the one dog that was fucking trying to was oh, not in the shit. fight. And Renee fucking sprayed a whole can of mace in my dog's eye. He still would not let go. Bro. Oh shit! He was just an animal. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, never owned a pet. But like I said, my girl's got one, and the thing is, the fr- I would, and this is rare for me to say because I always think that anything could happen. But I would trust that dog around my kids any day of the week. It is the big. I see little dogs, little fucking yippers, fucking this dog up, and yeah. it's like, what the fuck is this thing doing? It won't even won't do anything. Yeah, yeah. that's how Phoenix is, man. Like you yeah. said, we put that yeah. bit of drag on her head. She's like, yeah. Huh, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she just wants some loving. Yeah, I don't know, Mr. Edgar. Where do we go from here in the world? I don't know, man. No guests. We, we maybe we got to figure out how we can maybe get a guest on Zoom. I told you I did a Zo- you know yes. Zoom. I did a Zoom yep. interview yep. with uh, Josh No uh, J- Josiah Novak Noviak. No, who was your um your college buddy that you did it with the other? That wasn't on Zoom. That was just Instagram yeah, yeah, Live. Yeah, that was right? just Instagram yeah, Live. Yeah. Uh, Dave Quinn. Zoom, Nova. Zoom, Zoom better. Zoom is it's pretty much like Instagram Live. No okay. comments. Uh, no comments. You prefer guess, the comments no. or no? Oh shit! I was I, comment. I, I was commenting the first like ten minutes of that. I was I kept fucking you? making tiger references. Uh, like fucking <laughs> ask Frankie about his tiger. <laughs> fucking <laughs> no, but Zoom. But to see with Zoom is you could record it uh, and then play it later. Like uh, I did that interview with him, and I don't think it comes out till next week. Okay, you know what I mean. Okay, who was that with? Um, Josiah Noviak. Mm, He's like a, a health fitness guy. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right. When your uh, career is done. Fighting when you're what do you what do you think you're gonna do? 
Um, I'll, I'll always be involved in fighting forever. Um, like I got on the wrestling school. I have some, some, some UFC gyms I'm, I'm involved with. Oh, that got delayed too, right? The opening. I was supposed yeah, to go to that yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's delayed, yeah, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, Has it is the gym pretty much done now? It's closed right now. Yeah. They're no, I know it's closed, stuff. but. Was that when we were supposed to go to the grand it was opening? Open, yeah, it oh, was, it was. It's been open. They they had a soft oh. open. It's been open for a couple months. Okay. They're gonna finally do a grand opening. We okay. get everybody All sorted, right. but um, you know now it's gonna have to get pushed back too. Gotcha, gotcha. Hopefully we could do it in the summer. It'd be nice if it's nice out. You know. Can you imagine if if listen? We really haven't had any phenomenal weather where everybody's jonesing to go out. We got we had one seventy degree day today, which was really nice. I saw a ton of motorcycles out, but can you imagine if this happened in August? There's no way. Can you imagine? Fucking, but the beaches are closed. The boardwalk. I know, but so can you imagine if this happened in August and trying to shut down those fucking beaches? You think, you think people are pissed now or annoyed or they'd be like rioting in the street? You know yeah. what I mean? Because it was still winter time, really, when this when this happened, when this started. Anyway, you know, yeah. it's spring now, but right. you know, no, people aren't that excited about going out anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. I keep thanking my lucky stars that for the last year I've been building my backyard and I got a pool. If I can get the fucking thing open and up and running, I know. I'll hang out. If God forbid this goes on for months and months, I can at least hang out in my backyard with my kids, you know? I can't, man. I can't. Can't, can't what? I can't go on for months and months. Bro. Oh, I think, man, I can't hang out in my backyard <laughs> with my kids. I'm like, come and stop me, you <laughs> bastard. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I, I just don't imagine this. I don't know. I don't even know. Well, Trump's had originally said, you know, well, I'm not going to go back to original, original, because I get shredded for it, but Easter, you wanted, you wanted America to be back up and running by Easter. Now it's end of the month. Now it's 30th, right? Still, they're still sticking to that date. Yeah. And I can't, I, I hate it. I mean, I feel like Trump is trying to be positive, you know, mm-hmm. which like, I, which I like. Yeah. You, we do, we he knows the damage you know to this? the economy. Okay. okay. Did you know this? This is Chris, little Chris fact. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, during the uh, World War One, that's when the Spanish flu became real, real big. Okay. Right? And Woodrow Wilson was the president at the time. He's from Jersey. A uh, little fat, fat for you. Okay. And, uh, so he was the president at the time, and he said to all the journalists and all the press people, I do not want you writing about the fucking Spanish flu. Nobody in America knew about it. Really? Yeah. Because the war was a bad enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he wanted to. So supposedly that's why. It, that's wow. why it also spread a lot worse though, because nobody yeah, yeah, knew yeah, about yeah. it. So I guess. Yeah. Do you know any stats on that? I don't know much about the Spanish flu. No, I don't know. No, I, no. I think a lot of people died from what I hear, and I heard it was like people like twenties uh, to forties. Okay. You know, like that uh, was affecting that age group. Yeah, there's a little. There's some anomalies going on now with obviously this COVID nineteen. That there are. You know, they said really at first that young people weren't at risk, or I should say high risk at all, unless you have some serious health. But there has been a number of documented cases of people in their 30s who are, you know, for all intents and purposes, dying. You know? Yeah, I know. But when, when someone says healthy, right. what is their take on healthy? Yeah. Because, uh, you know, just because you, you're not sick doesn't right. mean you're healthy. Yeah, yeah. How do you eat? Do you train? Do you work out? Right. Do you you, right. you, you, you get break a sweat every once in a while? Right. You know, are you, how, how, are you obese? Yeah. Like, you know, if you're fat, you're really not healthy. I don't, you know, I'm trying to be rude or anything. Right, right. It's just, it's the fact. I think you said this. I don't know if you said it in the last podcast, but someone, someone who, who uh, let's give credit to the quote, said there's no more important time than right now in the world yeah i mean it was to, me i said it so I, oh is it I, all right, I, I all right. Some okay credit, you know? well yeah. frankie egger <laughs> made the quote go ahead no I, I, i've been telling my kids from day one you always right. got to build your body build your mind all that stuff you right. know and i'm like listen you know and this is even before this fucking happened mm-hmm. i said you know in america especially everyone's so you know the obesity rate is raising you know every year mm-hmm. and i'm like dude if you guys are fit and healthy people that gives you an advantage in life great just Agreed. right out the gate. And that's Agreed. something you, you could do just by good daily habits. Not just on the health perspective either. I think in a lot of ways, you know what I mean? Yeah, no. In a well, lot of ways it does. Well, no, because if you're healthier, you're going to be able to do more stuff. Well, you're, you yeah, know. Let's, 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 be, let's just be shallow for a minute. Just appearance alone, you know what I mean? If you walk into a job interview and you got your shit together and you look like you you care and you take care of yourself and probably going to get a little more accolades yeah. than somebody that walks in there that and looks like a slob that doesn't take care of himself yeah. care mm-hmm. about I, I, absolutely you know yeah i um yeah so like 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 you said it is important to be healthy and and, and are these people really healthy you know that's like yeah. these basketball players you know they're fucking healthy right, right. they're fucking right. they're now, they, now, they, were, they have no symptoms you're the one that My told boy, you're the one that told me about the basketball player i forget his name that had was asymptomatic Correct. and, and um, had it 
what 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 did he go through? Do you know? Did you read up on that? Was he no. was he hospitalized for any amount no. of time? Did nope. he never? Nope. So event just, uh, for all intents and purposes is a very speedy recovery. Yeah, a healthy Ma- guy. Ma- Mark yeah. Lee, yeah, m- one of my best friends. He's yeah. a fireman in Jersey City, and he has it. No. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. He got it. No. He got probably he's been he's been you know doing so. Uh, so tell uh, me here's what I'm curious about because not and I and I know Mar- I know Mark Lee personally. Mark Lee is not a bullshitter. If he says he has it, he has it. But I feel like I've heard from a number of people. Some people have even test, texted me that they have it, and I'm like, F-, and I and I question. I'm like, oh, what was your where, what was your te- did you do the drive through facility? Did you go to PNC Art Center? Did you go to a hospital? There's a number of places where you can get the test, and I get these vague answers. Like, where did Mark Lee go and get his test? He's a Jersey City fireman. Okay, so they they, they did tested him. Yeah, they tested him. And okay. the reason they tested him was because two of his his uh, people were t- tested. Positive. Okay, okay. That's what I tested, and he was like, he's like, yeah, they tested me. He's like, I'm pretty good. He's like, I went for a six mile run the other day, but then the next day, all of a sudden, he got fucking just like crash tired, but okay. not sick. He said right. never really felt sick. Yeah. Felt a little out of it. He said he he fucking went to sleep at like eight o'clock, woke up at like one o'clock, then went to bed at four. Then woke do you up think at any eight. of that? No, and I'm and again, I I the reason I'm backstepping because I know Mark Lee, and I don't think he's a bullshitter in any way, shape, or form. But do you think any of that, even for maybe a guy like Mark Mark Lee, could be? To some degree, placebo. Yeah, I, I'm do you sure. Think? I'm sure. Your mind I'm sure. fucking with you because sh- you were told that you have it and you do have it. Yeah. But I'm, if you sure. never knew you had it, like you, 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 I mean, again, I'm stretching here. You had a cough last week. Right. I had a cough last week. We were both like, you know, Bro, I never I, went and got tested. I, I, I never I, gave it a second fucking thought. I was like, there's fucking nah, no way I got this well, shit. I had a cough and then But I if had, somebody told me I had it, would I wake up the next morning after they told me I had it and be like, man, I feel a little, I don't know, my achy, I'm a little, would I? Maybe. Even you me, might. Yeah, yeah, of course, you know? of course. Honestly, bro, my body hurts all the time from yeah. training. I, I've been training, you know. Yeah. And I suppose that's one of the one of the uh, yep. signs. Aches. Aches. Sore, Aches. Yeah. I'm like, damn, I ache all the fucking time. Yeah, so yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, I do yeah, got yeah, something. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. And I had I had like the metal taste. I don't know if it's called metal taste. I had like you know like if you ever yeah. you ever fall asleep like eat like candy and go that's to sleep probably, and not brush teeth. That dude probably has like a. You told me that dude. You when you drive when you leave here and you do your drive. You said that dude you go see has a Prince Albert. That's probably yeah, the metal yeah, taste yeah. in your mouth. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Roger bad. with the gay jokes. He's trying I to know, keep up the brain. I know. I know. Come on. <laughs> what? Throw that no. over here. There right, you go. Let's go. Let's There's go. no ice left, right? Nah. We're both dipping our fingers in it. We're going to catch so much shit over that. I only dipped my fingers in it once. No, I didn't. I put my cup in there. And, oh. then, and then I put my dip. I put, oh, sorry. I, I guess I just put my fingers right, in so after I'll you did. I'll go straight out the bottle then. Let's go, man. Big time here, buddy. Just a little sip. A little nip. What do you miss? What do you miss? I asked my I asked my son Santino. I'm like, what do you miss, man? This is gonna sound weird. It's very contradicting. But what do I miss? The gym, mm. and why? Uh, listen, I'm, I've said it before. I'm gonna say it again. Not because I like going to work out at the fucking gym. I'm not a guy in the gym that leaves the gym and goes and tells everybody, "Oh fuck, I had the best fucking workout today. I killed it. I love it. Working out's my life." Look I've never bomb. been that guy. Look at this bomb. But you know what I miss? I miss feeling good about myself after I go to the gym. I miss listen, looking in listen, the mirror, I'm being like, this. "Oh, my pecs are tight and I'm my fucking biceps are." I'm gonna tell you this. I miss that. You don't need a gym for that one. I agree. I'm being you lazy. Feel good. You I'm are. being lazy. You I are am. a little hundred percent of it. Hundred percent. I agree with you. I am. Dude, I am. I mean, we're already kind of close. Maybe I'll come put you through something. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't do that because I, I think we'll catch shit. This we're six foot four apart. I come through the basement. I feel like if I do a workout with you, everybody's gonna be like, "Ah, oh, you're putting yourself." Well, in fucking- I, I worked out with Lagori today. Yeah. yeah. You know? Well, you guys have been doing that on the regular. Yeah. 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 I, we we entered a monogamous relationship. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> For real though, he's being good. I'm being good. Yeah. What the fuck? What are we gonna do? It's one person. Right. You know. Right. 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 Well, does he still run the trains? He does, but he he does, he does the train. He doesn't go in the shop. He goes okay. car to the train, back to the car. Okay. And he's a conductor, so he he's in there by himself, or maybe one other person, right? One other person, yeah. but not even like he, I think there there's some you know they put some. They do people or just freight? No, just freight. Right. Just yeah. freight. Yeah. A lot of lot of gas, a lot of gas. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah. a lot of gas and garbage actually. Yeah, yeah, you were saying yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Where do they? Where is he? Where's his normal route? He's in Chester. How, how is he here so often? If he lives two hours away now, did he always live two hours away? I no. thought he lived in Jersey. No, yeah. he was a Jersey guy. Yeah. Why did he move down there? Delaware, uh, right? Just uh, his wife, just better opportunities. Okay, you know, a little cheaper. 
But how does it? He drives two hours to come work out with you, and then two hours home. Pretty much, yeah. Wow, dude. Yeah, it's a good dude. Yeah, he's. I really like Lagor, man. Yeah. Really good dude. He's uh, he's definitely one of the best people I know, man. Yeah, good dude. Um. Yeah. Now, do you, like when when you you bring fuel to homes to homes in the winter time? Yeah. Um. You know, like tomorrow morning, I got a boat to do a scallop boat. It's going to take eight hundred gallons. Die diesel tomorrow, so I, I do. You know, any petroleum distillate basically is what I do. Actually, now I don't. I I've done it over the now, years. Do you go, do we pe- don't do gas now. We sold off that side of it. Now, but, do people still have um to heat their house with petroleum? Yeah, a lot of people use heating oil. It's, what, what, a di- it's sort of a dying industry, fossil fuel, but it's, you know, there are, there are certain areas, you know, anywhere where it's very populated, where it's very urban, there's always natural gas, right? And most people have natural gas in very populated areas. And the more sparsely populated you get, there's always going to be two oil because they, the gas company is not going to run a gas line to a house here and then run a gas line a half a mile to the next house. Right, right. So it's more, it's getting to be more the sparsely populated areas that are still too. And then there's still the diehards that will never go to gas because they're worried about their houses blowing up and stuff. But mm. yeah. So I've always, I grew up in that industry. My fa- my dad owned the oil company, still does. And, you know, I've always done it. And I, when I moved to Jersey, I joined a union and I do it for the Teamsters down here for the same company for the last 24 years. But yeah, any petroleum distillate product over the last 24 years i've delivered we're a little more limited now because we sold off most of our commercial side and just basically stayed with residential although we still do a little commercial um but yeah you name it i've driven it you name a refinery in jersey i've been to it l l cd a cdl 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 yeah i have a class a cdl I, i just drive i only need my b to do what i do now but you know, I still keep my Twit card. I I, I I've loaded it. If you now, can, what it. Now what is that like? It it matters how many axles the truck has. Is that how it works? Right. Class A is goes by weight, eighty thousand pounds. Um, you can drive, and um, you know, obviously hazmat is an endorsement, which hazardous materials for what we drive. And then a B, I think, is anything forty forty thousand. I believe. I'm gonna get corrected on that, but. Basically, a B is a single axle or a tandem axle, and an A is an eighteen wheel, essentially. What do you drive? I've driven them all, but right now I drive tandem axles and single axles. Yeah. You drove eighteen. You could drive eighteen wheelers. Twelve years for my company yeah. now. I drove eighteen wheelers. Yeah. Wow. To Linden every day you, like, to you, you Newark. Put, do you put the hat backwards? Yeah, I got the I got the fucking uh, got the the pulley, over the top the pulley. pulley. Yeah. yeah. Grayson yeah. sits on the passenger hey, side seat. Go, <laughs> Dad, over the top. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do look like. Are you good at arm wrestling? <laughs> no, I'm horrible. No? Really? My cousin always challenges my. my I used co- to be good. I my cousin's a good. big boy, right? He's uh, Kyle. He's twenty. He's like twenty eight, and he's he's. I know. I met him, right? Yeah. He's a big yeah. fucker, and he's strong, and he's you know, and he's he's very competitive. So he's always, but he never. I think he got into the gym because of me, really, and and he he's probably definitely surpassed me in what I can bench and whatever, um, and push or whatever, but. You know, there was a day and a time, not that long ago, a couple of years ago, where I could beat him. I could out bench him. I could out push up him. I could do whatever. And he was go to was always now is arm wrestle, motherfucker. And I'm right. always like, who the fuck arm wrestles? Nobody fucking arm wrestles. Like it's the fucking corniest sport ever. But I'm addicted to watching the guys that do it, the professionals, because there is oh, yeah. a science to it. I used to be decent. Yeah. decent. I, I beat my cousin Brian. No. Yes. I was always better. It was like, it was like a. a Ten minute match. That's because Brian got them little thumbs though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I, I took them deep. That's I was, I was, uh, yeah, but you did. <laughs> I was always better with my left. I'm right-handed, and I was always better with my left than I am with my right. I don't know why. Oh, really? It's weird, yeah. Backhand weird. lefties. That's yeah, why. it's weird. I can't do anything left-handed. You asked me to throw a baseball Bro, left-handed. I can do everything left-handed. I look like a Fruit Loop throwing a baseball I my, left-handed. My shoulder bothers me. You know, a little arthritis. You can throw a baseball left-handed. I throw. I, I I've honestly been doing everything left-handed lately. I've been shooting basketball. I've been throwing baseball. You're left-handed. naturally right. I'm naturally righty. But you can throw a baseball and look decent. I look like yes. an idiot throwing a baseball left-handed. I, I, I definitely look better with a righty. Yeah. I can't whip it like my right. Yeah. I, my right hand, I can whip it. Same. I can't really whip it. No. Good, but I can throw. I can do it. I have you, no you accuracy, no nothing. Tell. I've been I'll shoot. I, I'm not bad. Really? I honestly, I never thought I could until I realized. I'm well, impressed. I, I, when I fight, I fight righty, and yeah, I can yeah. fight lefty fine. So I, it's just all mechanics. Yeah. It's the same thing. You have amazing. I'll kiss your ass for a little bit. You have amazing footwork. You're well known for it, but. You you always switching stances like guys are you know like I've been yeah I don't I, some guys switch and stay I switch 
quickly. I was going to say, I, I'm trying to picture you switching, and I, I can't picture it in my head, but must be because it's just I, – I, I switch. It, it kind of flows with your footwork, back, yeah. yeah. You don't have those those big gaps where guys switch, you know? Yeah, You're, no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, All right, well, big dog. Okay. That was good. It's good. Good little Yeah, chat. I don't know how long we – I never know. I lose time every time because uh, uh, for us, again, we've said this, but – we're just down. We're two bros chilling, having a couple drinks and BSing, and and that that is the champ and the tramp. So, I never I lose track of time down here. I never know if we're here for an hour, two hours, four oh, hours, know. or what. But yeah, good times. Sorry guys yeah. on um, the lackluster uh, you know attempt we have at guests lately. Clearly you understand why, but we I think do. We, maybe we'll get Chris in here or someone yep. here. We'll, yeah. we'll get somebody, or maybe we will got to look into the Zoom stuff. Maybe. We got to line up with some guests that want to be on. Maybe we could do you know who we could do the Zoom with? Maybe Derek Carver. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We could do a four-hour interview with that dude, and he's definitely going to come in live, but you want to talk about an intriguing, interesting guy, bro. Holy fuck. He'll blow your mind with what he knows about the most random shit, man. Yeah. I'm yeah, down with so it. So maybe we can get Carver on with Zoom. Let's That's do that. Good. Let's try good. to do that. I'll All talk right. to him tonight, tomorrow. We got to talk to the glue. To the, to the worm. To the worm, yeah. Big perm, yeah. Lou the glue grom. <laughs> we gave we gave Lou uh, a new nickname. Frankie gave it to him Well, tonight. no. I, I, ah, I Ligori. Ligori. Ligori gave it to him. Lou the glue, glue grom because he's holding our shit together. He really does, grom. man. He's not here. It's just me and Frankie in the room, but we had to FaceTime to figure out how to hook up the audio and shit because we're idiots. But we're here and we got it done, so. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging. Champ of the Tramp, man. Like, share, subscribe. Give us a... Uh, Give us a shot in your household during this COVID-19 pandemic. Peace.